Wow. Yeah, yeah, AJK Jamal, <laughs> aka man. <laughs> Oh man, I messed it up. <laughs> hey. Okay. Oh, let me formally introduce myself. Go ahead. Okay. AKA Nana Man. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit uh, whoopsie this uh, Sunday. Uh -huh. Your I'm whole life. A little bit out of there. Okay. Yeah. Hey yo, Beta Not Man. Enough sleep. All right. Not enough sleep. What was that shit you were talking about last episode? <laughs> I know you didn't hold on, think. Hold on, hold on, I, hold on, hold on. I, I know Let's you didn't think I wasn't going to respond. Uh, I did get some people direct message. Uh, us and you know they said as far as who's bigger, I'm definitely bigger than uh, receipts. You got you got to show message. the receipts. Yeah, let's see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the messages. Oh, we got. Oh, let's see the messages. I delete because oh, no, you don't. Because you ain't delete that gay guy in your DMs. You ain't delete that. What? So you deleted the okay. <laughs> All right, we hold see on, what hold you on, keep. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't delete what. The guy that was hitting on you, you oh, kept them no. messages. I bit. I don't play them games. We read them on air. Right. We read I, them on we, air. Hey Jedi, can we play the clip from last week? I sent you the clip. It should be at the bottom. Oh. Where you know Nana Man was taking shots in my in my absence. A nigga missed one episode, <laughs> and all of a sudden, oh yeah, let's just play the clip. Hey, mm. and I thought I'd be the drama one. Mm. <laughs> I'm so glad EJ's gone. I'm, I mean, I'm just happy. Like, it, he's just better energy around you, know? Like, uh, you know, like, he, he got little man syndrome. You can tell, like, what's bothering this guy, you know? But you're not much bigger than him. <laughs> <laughs> you might be smaller than him, so maybe y'all both I'm, I'm smaller than EJ? We'll just see how it's okay. No, no, we need we need to clear all the smoke and talk. <laughs> We'll have our audience, listeners, you go vote. Who's bigger, Nana Man or EJ? And I, I'm by far by bigger than by him in all aspects. You leave your opinions in the comments. And yeah. also, I'd just be wondering if EJ ever, like, I know he's in a relationship, but if he ever get into the dating world, like, what would a single EJ get, like, what type yeah, of women would he attract? This is a question. Like, that was a low I'm, blow. I'm very so confused. shady. No, I'm just, blow. I'm just being. Hey, I'm that just. Man, you know, man, that man, that okay, that was. I'll say that's, that's a low blow. Right. But no, we already no, had. No, hold on, no, hold on, no, hold on. No, I'm gonna no. defend myself, and now oh, I'll let you talk. How can you defend yourself? Hold on, hold on, hold on. She said it was a low blow. No, no. Listen, you talked all that shit last week. My only question is. Where the fuck was this big dick energy at the past 20 episodes? It's been always in the episodes, but subliminally. Uh-huh, subliminally. And we, we had our confrontation, um, our, you know, reasonably uh, argument uh, episode, I don't know. Um, You're talking about the character versus personality? The char yeah, the big words that I don't know what you said. <laughs> character? <and> personality? <laughs> those are big words? I, I don't know what it means. I still got to go to Oxford Dictionary just to kind of... Oh, you mean you don't know what the difference is between the two? That's what you mean. I haven't looked up the definition yet. All right. Um, so. All right. Don't see what. <laughs> see why? Do I, I mean, I don't know what it means. So I'm right just coming up. One. So I'm a, am I supposed to know what it means? Character I, and personality. No, I know character. Okay, I know what character means, but he says it another way. How you say it? It's exactly how I said it. My point was there's a difference between playing a character. And showing a personality. Or something. Oh, you're talking about, oh, when you were talking about, I was telling you, when you were Brother Nana, mm -hmm. I called you, I said you were playing a caricature. Is that what you're referring Character -cur. to? Caricature. Oh, okay. See, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I got you. Can you go ahead and uh, enunciate it for me so I know? Caric. See, it's hard for me to say it so, mm -hmm. slow. Yeah. Caricature. 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 <laughs> Alright, now say that three times real fast. Alright, All right, we're not going to distract yeah, let this distract uh, see, us from uh, the fact even, that you fucked up. Uh, Alright. We okay, hold on. Alright. And <laughs> I know everybody's probably watching like, dang man, you throwing blows. EJ, see the you reason were. why I get on him so Here hard. The uh, reason I get on so, so hard. I knew this would happen. There there is been a recording that we still haven't got the authority to release, okay? And there's some, you know, very, very detailed um. Nonetheless, to say, it was more than low blows. Okay, and you know what? I I let it be because it's okay because I want to be transparent with my guests. So that's why me and him have that type of relationship. What are you talking about? I, I think to, we, we, to we, summarize what he's saying. Because I don't really know what he's talking about. You but don't know. I don't to summarize what he's saying, there was a past episode that has not yet been released where you threw some low blows, and since then he's been going back and forth you, with me? you. Yes. So I threw low blows at you yeah. on that episode yeah. with Ty. I feel mm -hmm. like this is something y'all should yeah. hash out. Well, it's, it's, a, it's like a very, it's a very sensitive episode. Okay, it's a very. 
it, it's a very sensitive episode. I don't recall mm-hmm. it, but now we got to drop the episode yeah. because I don't yeah, recall it, that ep. Well, it, it, it was a the, ongoing. It was not necessary. Was our yeah. um, our discussion on the episode didn't just end on that episode. I had to deal with that, you know, like for months. Basically, Nana was playing okay. games with some female. All right, we got her on the show. We did a recording. Long story short, that shit went south. We started off trying to try to see if they could find closure. We were trying to, but it didn't work situation. out that way. Yeah. So yeah. we're we're gonna so, go drop the episode. I don't know where the low blows for me came mm-hmm. in, but let me get this straight though. If that's your argument, mm-hmm. you mean to tell me because we did that shit like what three for four months ago? But that's what I'm saying. So I'm you, still uh, I'm still reaping all the things that happened from that episode. So the girl's still yeah. mad at you, basically. Well, I'm not really worried about that, you know, because that cha- in my let's chapter just agree. Done. Let's just you know mm-hmm. we can we can drop the subject and just agree to not have any exes on the show at all. Mm-hmm. So that none of us have any issues with each other because I, I think know. relationships I, I, are kind of sensitive topics. But huh? this, this is, but it wouldn't be the problematic safe place if we don't talk about those. Man, my qu- my my initial question mm-hmm. was, where was all this big dick energy from when 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 I'm here right in front of you? Where where was it's that? It's still here. Like it it's hasn't still- went. It's just been subliminal. I mean, you know. Uh huh. So I always get on you. What show haven't I got on you? Nah, nigga, you, Jedi, went on, you, you, you never my went that hard, and then you never yeah. went for a minute. I think maybe when I'm a on minute, side, it was like over mm-hmm. a minute. Within, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just looking at it like this. All right, I was absent mm-hmm. within the first thirty seconds of the show, immediately after the introduction. Yeah, first thirty seconds, mm-hmm. you went in, you went the fuck in. Yes, I did. And it was me, my free time. And then let's like, go I to. It, it was almost you know, like when you're gone. I, I feel like Kanye West has he wear the MAGA hat. You know, I feel like Superman. You know, <laughs> I feel like Superman when you gone. Like just like Kanye West feel like Superman when he put the MAGA hat on. Mm-hmm. That's my Superman. Okay, I, I know, think the point you, is that you know you shouldn't mm-hmm. say anything disrespectful when somebody is no longer like here in the room. What? So that kind of tie in that kind of segues yeah, into the, segue. the first topic. I'm not ready to segue just yet, Daz. I know what you do. I know what you do. I know what you do. I'm not ready what, to segue what? just. Yet. Then we yeah, no. we, we should I, definitely I'm not break recall, up no fight. I, I think uh-huh. we should be uh recall our the show the pragmatic safe place. No, this is what we need yeah. to do, Nana. We'll just call it the pragmatic safe place. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can be more reasonable. All right. Because I thought so, it was Nana. Let's get on to the the. I think what baby got me mm-hmm. most was that lame ass challenge. Can we play the clip one more time? All right, go one ahead. More, uh, play it from the the challenge. Uh, who's bigger? Yeah, that mm-hmm. one. That's I have to, I have to assert my, my, you know, myself. like, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, we just play from the beginning. It's only a minute. Who's <laughs> bigger? I'm so glad EJ's gone. I'm, I mean, I'm just happy. Like, he's just better energy around here, you know? Oh, like, my God. You know, like, he got little man syndrome. You can tell, like, mm-hmm. what's bothering this guy, yeah. you know? But you're not much bigger than him. <laughs> <laughs> you might be smaller than him. What? Maybe y'all both I'm, I'm smaller than EJ? We'll just see how it's going. Okay, no, no. We need, we need to all carry right, all so, the Like I said, I got a direct message. Well, I have our audience okay. listeners. You go both. Who's bigger, Nana mm-hmm. Man or EJ? And I, I'm by far by. So let's see the DM. In all aspects. Leave uh, your opinions it. in the comments. And also, I'd just be oh, wondering. Right, you were lying. You're literally lying. <laughs> First off, okay, uh, to the I listeners. Hey, I got this. First bit. off, to the listeners, okay. all right? To the listeners. Mm-hmm. I in no way, shape, or form am participating in that beta-ass bullshit of a uh, contest. Who's bigger? What kind of weirdo it's, shit it's you are, man? It's Who's like, bigger? It's friendly competition. How about how about it's we how about have produ- productive competition? Like who got the hotter? Who come with the hotter hot takes? How about mm. you know? How about I think that? I, how I think about, I look cute today. Let's talk about that. Oh yeah. Well, I, well you know, we <laughs> kind of hey. both kind of wearing green for some odd reason. I don't know <laughs> because if you, you stalk just, me. You know, stalking me. Or no, whatever. the weather dropped. You want something to express? Mm-hmm. But go ahead. Okay. That was some weirdo <laughs> ass shit, and I'm you like, so? I'm like. Hold on, Nana. But that you remember when we? It, you remember honestly, when we had bro, that moment a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago where you were like, "How come you got a girl and I don't?" And then mm-hmm. it paused and it was like, "Wait, no, this, I don't this remember." A, that. It was like, "Wait, mm-hmm. this isn't this isn't about us." This yeah. is. Nana, what's up, man? I'm, I'm okay, having that me, moment let, right now. Let me, let me go ahead and there is explain my actions. Can going I... they're going on with you. Okay. Bro. I don't really think it's all. What's 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 up? Why I want to explain my actions, okay? Go ahead. And maybe you know I I, I impeded on your uh, character, but anyway, no. that's for me as far as black <laughs> males, okay? That's our way of saying we miss you, okay? 
All right, you clown your homeboys. I don't know about you. Me and my homeboys roast each other, okay? We yeah. always did. Like, that's a way of like, hey, I miss you, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that's my boy. Like, I can rip you up because that because you my boy, uh -huh. you know? So that's my way of showing affection, okay? That's just It's how only jokes it when our... I'm here, nigga. No. It's only it, jokes I mean, when I'm it, here. Okay. So it's only jokes when you're here. Only jokes. It's one okay. thing if you were like, oh, yeah, EJ, that ugly ass niggas in Atlanta, you mm -hmm. know, shout out to blah, blah, blah. But nah, nigga. You, you went the keep fuck going in. in. That's I and I expect <laughs> you to do the same. Oh yeah, but that's yeah. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I'm going. I'm good. <laughs> I, I think I, 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 I and all due respect. If I hurt your feelings, I apologize. It wasn't, if I it offended wasn't, you, I apologize. I wasn't offended. But, but hold on, make no mistake. Much, You're not going there. It's no, 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 no. I was not I offended by the content okay. of your words. Gotcha. It was the context of it. It was okay, the fact so you that were this offended, nigga. So I'm sorry. About no, that. no. Let's mm -hmm. let's not get it yeah. fucked up. I I said what I was offended about. It wasn't okay. the content of your message. It wasn't the shots. It was the context. What was around it. It was the fact that you waited until I took a day off, oh, and the first I, I thing you did, you every number one in in your agenda, hey, you go was every to episode, go the you. fuck in. I roast you every episode. I clown you. We roast each other. I I don't know like. I, 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 you know what? Since you brought that to my attention, I'm gonna have to go to every episode and see which episode I didn't roast you. We still want to see the DMs though. The so DMs. We, I, I might have pervervicated a little bit. What? Perver he, he lied. Pervervicated. He lied. Now, now you looking up something? <laughs> I'll like, get back to y'all on that. Okay. I mean, because he just be inserting words that he, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm he learned it one time and then day. just find a sentence to throw it in. Speak mm -hmm. or act in an evasive way. Yeah. So okay, a little bit. All but right. So that's just my way of saying I miss you, bro. Like I don't know as far as when you know I what I miss. In my community. What do you miss, Dad? I, I miss you know. the topics that we were supposed mm -hmm. to talk about. That's what I, I miss. On, I'm ready. I'm, d I'm ready. I'm done. No, no, no. Let me finish. Y'all been going in on this for like 15 minutes. Yeah, it's long. Community. All right. You know, particularly African around African Americans, we will roast each other. We will, you know, talk bad about each other. But in I don't even think good, what you did in, was a roast. In good though. heart, though, in good heart, you know, it was in good nature. It's like it's almost like a competition. Like when I said, "Oh, who's bigger, me or EJ?" Like everything has to be a competition. We're I'm driven by competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Now, but I know that was that such a soft competition, though. Like that was a that was a soft to you. Move. It might be a soft and this subjective. Okay, to okay. You, it was a Let's soft just settle it by mm -hmm. y'all just say, stating how much you weigh. How much? How much we weigh? Yes. Hmm. That will settle you go it. Go first. I don't know. Who me? Don't yeah. know because oh, you're yeah. gonna lie. <laughs> don't lie. I'll be either. honest. So, don't lie because okay, right after the show we gonna can... find a scale. All right. All right. You can tell, tell you. me. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's okay. like, huh? I'm 180. Oh, I, I, I literally said that EJ was way more than you. But uh -oh. I didn't know. Hey, but I'm I'm good on this well, topic. Bigger now. weight. I'm, I mean, I don't think you're good. Like I think you really took it personal. Like I, I did. It, I took it, it personal. From, I told you you took it too. Far. Yeah, I took yeah. it. Per, I took it personal this from how a, from how mm. it was done. Not that it was done. If you would have brought that same mm. energy up here at the beginning while I'm here, this is oh, really we, we the pragmatic safe place. Back and forth, back we and just, forth. You know what, it, I'm ladies, gonna, just, ladies, I'm gonna turn it down. I think that we we have this tea time later. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tune it down. <laughs> I, I, I know this. Okay, I gotta tune it down. I but gotta tune it down. Y'all over here. I gotta tune it down. I know I'm like said. a bunch of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Des, what's I, I'm, I'm okay. All you had to do is like that, I, I take, Joe. Just how I get the blow, I can take the blow. I'm supposed to be the one with the issue. <laughs> I'm supposed you, you, to be the sensitive one. See, this it, is the problem, it, man. It's, the, it's that toxic out. masculinity. Des, are you adding to that? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Growing up, I got I roasted had, so that bad. I had masculinity to the show. Mm -hmm. I got roasted. Uh, you don't know how bad I got roasted every single day of my life. First of all, my name is Nana. Like I got roasted every second. Okay, mm -hmm. you got to introduce yourself to what a new you student. Nanny? Or whatever. I got all the names, okay? Uh, whatever. Uh, they just call you Mr. A? No. No, they didn't mm -hmm. call me no Mr. or whatever. All right, I got all the type of names. Now people are more open-minded to, you know, different names. But you got to think about in the 90s, you know, kids and, you know, kids, little kids could be mean, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you're not used to someone named, uh, first of all, Nana, N-A-N-A, -N -A, and you're a male, 
Uh, and first um, image that pe pops in a lot of people's minds is their grandma or a, a caregiver, someone who is like very nurturing, not a little boy with glasses. We're getting way the fuck so, off. I'm topic, just saying, man. like, what the I, fuck? I, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, <laughs> be a long I, okay, I'm just saying, like, I've been, I was roasted every second of my life, okay, mm -hmm. till the age of 18. Well, because those people love you. I mean, it was just, it, you I, said I think that it was. You roast out of affection. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it was more of like, you know, I think it was their curiosity and their lack of knowledge, and they don't know how to, uh, what's it called, basically, uh, like, really th think critically at that time period. Like, oh, okay. About your name? Well, the, the origins, you know. I mean, I'm telling you. I mean, teachers. I think a name is a name, regardless of where you get it from. But like, you, if you your never name is Lakeisha, you're gonna But get, it don't matter. You didn't. Joked about but the thing is, you name. never experienced that growing up. It was different. Like, you know, you can even talk about your last name yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Even you go by EJ now, but it's Educate. Um, Augulefo. Augulefo. Like, Augulefo. But I go by Educate Jamal professionally. Okay. But yeah. Educate. So that's what you go by. But when teachers were calling your name on a roll call, they always had str uh, struggles. Okay. Yeah. But my Man, last name. No, 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 no. Because you talk, you express your, you express your uh, uh, opinions. Let me express mine. But but then I'm, he said that I never experienced that growing up. Just because my name is Desiree doesn't mean like people didn't mispronounce it. But my name is is, is real is real, very feminine. It's very feminine. So okay. being a male. Okay. With a feminine name, I think name? everybody growing up got talked about. If you are, if you were born yes, in the eighties or the nineties, it don't you matter. You got, got even yes, now, you got, you got, you got about. roasted. But I'm just saying now. I'm just saying growing up with a we feminine name is different. We went from talking about how big y'all are to talking about y'all names. <laughs> now growing up he with the, I'm just big. saying growing up with a feminine name <laughs> is different than growing up with you know. I'm not saying that it isn't, but what I'm saying is that's not the topic of the day. See, when I when I want to express myself, it's no, like, hurry up, going, hurry up. No, you, it was a you long were ass rant that was off topic. You were <laughs> discounting your own point because your point was that you did it out of affection. And then you talked about you got roasted growing up. And I asked you, what, did they do it out of affection? You said, probably not. It was because they're critical, <laughs> lack of critical thinking oh, skills. Okay, so but then. <laughs> maybe you just roasted him due to your lack of critical thinking no, skills that he was out there networking no, it was for really, our it, show. No, no, it was out of affection. It was out of affection. <laughs> Right. You could you could still roast Jedi. Have you ever roasted your homeboys growing up? Just out of affection. That's yeah, just what yeah. y'all do. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I feel what you're saying. Yeah, yeah you, you know, you, you you joke around and yeah. and yeah, but you know, I don't know how that correlates to your name though. On that. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, he, 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 he kind of got me on that. I one. went on a Kanye rant. Okay, I'm gonna let you know. You did. Like right. I, What's you know, I almost put the MAGA zero, zero. hat on. I went on a Kanye rant. <laughs> By the way, my password is zero 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 zero. You missing a zero? Yeah, I'm missing a zero. Okay. All Anyways, right. hey, I love you, dog. So hey, let's man. get that out the way. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Try to dap you up. All right, fam. Hey, all right. You know what? Yeah. Don't you hate those people? Yeah. Like you reach out to it. dap up, and then they don't like. You know, I don't know. Today, I was at church, right? And I was just shaking hands, and then this guy was coming by. I already had my hand out for five seconds, mm -hmm. and he just walked right past me. I was appalled. I was like, "You were entitled." You didn't shake my hand. You felt entitled that he he had to shake your hand. He he, he probably he maybe he was a germaphobe, or maybe he didn't see your hand, or maybe he don't know you like that. Maybe it he wasn't matter. comfortable. We're in Texas. It does matter. We're in Texas. It's the and most it, you friendly know how many... state. We don't. We ask how you doing, not <laughs> to really state. know how you doing. So you we just ask you how you doing, just to, to just to so give you, you another response. So you never experienced racism in Texas because it's so friendly, right? Um, now that one I don't know about. <laughs> mm -hmm. It ain't that friendly. Well, he was black, so yeah, he can't say he was racist. He, I mean, something. I don't like touching people's hands. I don't know. I know that you don't like a to. lot of stuff, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind. Of, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of weird about that too. Yeah. Like especially dapping kids up. Like, I don't yeah, kids I, I, kids I, I, so I dap yeah, them up. Kids are fucking time. disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> hey yo, so y'all are to... just so like y'all are everything's like a cookie cutter. It's not be cookie free. cutter. You uh, a cookie yeah, cutter. Free. You're saying that we're cookie cutters because we don't want to touch people's hands, but you're a cookie cutter expecting everybody to want to touch your hand. Yeah, who wanna want to touch the next president of the United States hand? On that Actually, note. I'm good on a touch uh, Donald Trump's hand. To yeah. Tell you the truth, I can live without that one. I mean, let Kanye tell her he next uh, though. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Vic Mensa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, uh, so Big Mensa, word on the street is Big Dis, uh, the BET Cypher. It hasn't been released yet. I'm still but, working my ATL. Yo, oh, Atlanta? Mm-hmm. So I was going to go was through. Atlanta? I was, Atlanta, yeah. it was straight. Atlanta was straight, very good, but I definitely got to give a shout out to the King Hollywood Jaden. Mm-hmm. All right, from Unapologetic Podcast. What's up? What's All up? All right, make sure y'all subscribe, fucking subscribe. Uh, make sure y'all follow him, Hollywood, Hollywood Jaden. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I was featuring on the show with him, right? And there were several, there was like three of us, me, him, um, a lady, someone else. I can't pretty? remember. Was she cute? Huh? Was she cute? I mean, she was, you know, not my, not my type. She's yeah. not, she wasn't ugly, but she was a bit older than me. Not okay. what I, pref- you know, what I prefer, but she was yeah, cool. She cool, cool. She, she was dope. She's nice, yeah. We'll go with that. All right, yeah. she was dope. But uh, anyway, we ran into an interesting moment. And I don't know, I would have brought the audio in, but I don't know if, mm-hmm. I would have brought the audio in, but he hasn't put it up yet. Probably because, and now thinking back at it, now that I'm sober, I mean, he might have a good reason for it. But oh, anyway, you weren't sober, huh? I wasn't. So it was, it was turnt then. Yeah, you could say that. So all was, I want to know is how the drunk. ladies out there. It was four a.m. Oh, four <laughs> what? It was what? It was three four a.m. when we did the show. Oh, but, dang! Late well, night t- shit. How the ladies out there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just want to know. I've been to Atlanta one time, and you it was, should go, Nana. I think, oh, how I the think ladies would love it. Yo, I didn't see one real talk, man. Me, this, uh, me, and this other dude from mm-hmm. podcast were talking about this shit. Yo, I didn't see one chick with a flat ass in wow. Atlanta. Like no boost. Wow. No boost. I did not see one chick doctors, that's though. from Atlanta. The doctor with a flat in ass. Atlanta yeah, as far as the booty injection. Atlanta and Houston. Shit. Real? Yeah. Interesting. My well, business well, I don't is good. All right. I see. I thought it was something in the water. They get that flesh eating disease <laughs> in ten years after you marry her. Oh. And her booty start eating itself. Oh mm. wow. Sleeping next to her, that's a whole other story. Oh wow. Thanks. Through sickness yeah. and through health. Hey. All right. <laughs> nah, because there's this but, one girl on Instagram. I'm not yourself. gonna name her name, but she's from Atlanta, and I've been trying to kind of get at me. She just showed. She reads the message, but she don't respond. Uh huh. Yeah. So I mean, how many I, messages have you sent her? Uh, a couple, I mean, she respond like maybe very single, you know, very short response. When her, mm-hmm. when her man piss her off, she respond. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. you know what? Possibly. See, the thing about, don't give me, about don't give me an opportunity. Don't Anybody get- in Atlanta that you're trying to pull, you got to come correct because okay. it, people just tricking off in Atlanta. So oh. That's true. I saw a lot of so that. So how do I come? How should I come? I, I usually hit him. You probably direct- shouldn't. You probably shouldn't be messaging her unless you're saying like, "Hey, I'm trying to fly you out here." Yeah, that's the move. That's that's mm. the culture that I got. From we'll over speak there. a little bit about flying out because I actually uh, flew out. I used to fly out women, and um, mm-hmm. you will talk about that <laughs> in our uh, in in. in I, it was a bad investment. Very bad investments. Yeah. So. Yeah. On the show, right? On the show. But, but I want to ask, like, what's a good opener liner, like, when I direct message a woman? What's a great one? Like, usually I hit them with, like, hey, how you doing? I usually don't do this, but um, okay, I wrote no, past you. That's obviously a lie. <laughs> like, don't start off lying. That's probably why she's just reading them hoes. Dang. <laughs> All right, let me get, I get back to the show. <laughs> All right, yeah. So the BET so, I mean, thing. oh yeah. What, so, what are you gonna do? Like, like you, you gonna you tell the me? Truth. Like, you don't understand. If you like, usually do this, like you uh, don't have to say I don't usually do this. If you don't know. usually do it, if you do usually do it, then you're gonna say I don't usually do this. So they, it makes it seem like you're more innocent than what you are. So it's just stupid to lie. <laughs> And, yeah. and everybody DMs everybody. Like regular girls are getting DM'd on the regular, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. Dang, I gotta do something. Like that's why I'm saying. How do I? Thought I you were not girl? even interested in dating right now. I thought you were being celibate. I am. Every day I, I, you I change am. your mind. I am. It, I am. I'm not giving you no advice. We, we'll talk my, about your that. Advice I'm is in. To pray about it. <laughs> I am. I am. Um, just want to clear air. I'm celibate. Um, just my game. journey. No, seriously, my celibate. journey is going on. Yeah. Uh, it, it's almost it a year. Say it right, like women's. It's, it's been almost delivered. a year. So, um, I'm uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, You've been so celibate for a year. Almost, almost a year. What's almost mm-hmm. a year? Like you rounded up by how much? No, nah, it's almost a year. Is it eight months and you rounded up? Uh, it's going on. It's going on last quarter. So I gotta finish this year. So eight. Mm-hmm. Okay, ten months. <laughs> So that's something I'm very transparent about. Um, and I, and for my listeners who's listening now, if you see my progress from last year to this year, you'll see a lot of progress. So, really? Because last year, like, this okay, time, okay, think let, about it, last year, this time, I, I got that curve that, that, and she ha- wasn't there, but that was a game changer. That was actually a blessing. 
I got curved. Like, I feel like I'm we talk about your curved. love life every episode. Well, because <laughs> it's important to every. me. It's important that's to me. That's the only thing that's important in your life? Huh? No. Um, we, it, it, I don't it, think you realize how much you talk about being celibate, women, women uh, hitting that's, on you. That's Nana's Women being world. uncomfortable. That's his, like, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I, you know, I love like, women. Like, I think that's God's women, greatest gift to earth. You claim I'm sitting women by a beautiful are, one. You mm-hmm. claim women are obsessed with you, but I, I actually think that you're just obsessed with women. Yes. And you try to turn it you yes. you try to turn it around to make it seem like they're obsessed with you, but really you just yes. like really excited yes. to talk about them. Yes. I be I'm excited about women. Like I don't know. I get too excited like I'm a kid in a candy store, you know? So that's why I have to quarantine myself <laughs> at times. But you're and, not though. Huh? You're not. What? You you talking to somebody. Hmm? Nah. I'm chilling. Like I'm um focus mode, go mode. Okay. Financial elevation. That's what mm-hmm. I'm in. Just everything. Just building. I'm into building up, not breaking down. Okay. That's mm-hmm. what I'm into. Like, All really, right. really. So, you're going to see. Because I would get at you. Like, I was going to get at you, but, you know, I'll let you live. Maybe next so lifetime. Like, oh, so, <laughs> I know she's probably no, happy. I was going to tackle contact. her. So, mm-hmm. my contacts. The contact. Let me blow it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> now, on that note. <laughs> Hey, we gotta live life sometimes. I Dang. am living life. I just don't want you. In I'm living earth. my best life. Ain't going back and forth <laughs> with you, Nick. So okay. um, let's just try to keep everything on track because obviously, yeah, yeah. Mr. Mm-hmm. Medication. Yeah, for yeah, today. He's on. He's on. Yeah, you're on some shit. <laughs> All right. I'm on my Kanye but West though. I'll talk about the Atlanta shit next week. Let's go yeah. like to Vic Mensa though. All right. Mm. So Vic apparently in the B in the BET cipher that's unreleased is about to come out soon. He had an XXX and Tassian diss in there. All right, mm-hmm. so that shook, that shook up, caused a lot of waves over the week, right? A lot of people pissed, a lot mm-hmm. of people offended. Hey, do we have the video on that? The cipher ain't even came out yet, though. Not yet, but it's Recently pre-recorded. The freestyle oh, for the BT Awards cipher, addressing and condemning rappers who unabashedly abuse women and those who stand up for them and even call them legends. I stand behind no statements. It was pre-recorded weeks ago, and I had no idea a grieving mother would be in the audience to honor her lost son. I never intended to disrespect her and to offer my deepest condolences for her loss at the hands of gun violence. However, I vehemently reject the trend in hip hop of championing abusers and I will not hold my tongue about it. I don't give a fuck about getting attention. I care about bringing awareness and holding people accountable for their actions. Let me go follow him. So, Dang, so here's, that's actually, that's deep. Yeah, so like, let, me, oh, let me add a little context go. around it, though. Let me add a little context, all right? Mm-hmm. So when people first heard rumors of this diss, we just thought that this nigga uh, Vic just came out of nowhere and just dissed this dude after X, after he died. That's mm-hmm. what a lot of people thought. But then it's revealed that it was pre-recorded, possibly before X's death. Mm. But him talking on that video was him like this week, last week or this week, basically double down, you know, double down on, you know, his doubling stance. down on his stance. Yeah. So it begs the question, y'all. It begs the question. <clears throat> should we still are we obligated to show respect for the dead or be polite or speak po- politely about the dead despite whatever kind of life they lived? Do you speak politely about Hitler? No. Because he did some good in the world. He he really helped Germany's economy when he was there. And um, he he did some good for the world. It depends who's, from whose good, whose perspective you're speaking from. From my exactly. perspective as the minorities that he was killing, mm-hmm. okay, absolutely not. I have nothing but shit to talk about yeah. in regards to Hitler. But it's like, y'all know how I feel about X. I've, went, I've spoken about X so many times, yeah. okay? And I have different views on him. If you ask me about his personal life, I would have said, oh, man, you know, I can't really fuck with him on that level because of his personal life. Then shortly before he died, it seemed like he was making a change. My only issue is I just wish he would have, we could have seen what he, what he could have done in his the future. Potential. Yeah, his potential. He yeah. was robbed of that. But it does beg the question, is Vic wrong for taking shots at a dead guy? I don't think he's wrong at all. Um, I saw something on social media which really made me question the world as a whole because somebody commented and said i don't understand why people are bringing this up the charges got dropped talking about his his uh his abuse situation because he and died I'm like, yeah it got dropped because he's dead like yes. how are they gonna like convict somebody who, who died and when i first like, saw that man i was just like you know i'm gonna let him have i'm gonna let the fans have there's that there's actual mm-hmm. video of him hitting a woman unprovoked yes oh, wow yeah i saw wow. that and then like her 
saying, I can't believe he would do something like this unprovoked. And mm-hmm. then her coming back and saying we were just playing. And then her coming back and, you know, just basically continuously changing her story. Mm-hmm. So, like, regardless of how great everybody thinks this music is, like, you have to separate the person from the artist. Just like the Bill Cosby mm-hmm. situation. Yeah, he was a father figure on TV, but at the same time, if you rape some people, you need to go to jail for Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Nobody's yeah, above reproach. You know, XXX has some music that people appreciate. Mm-hmm. I, I personally don't listen to him. I'm sure I probably know some songs if I hear him, but I don't mm-hmm. check for his music. But you have to separate that from who he is as a person. Yeah. If you're a wife beater, girlfriend beater, pregnant girlfriend beater, mm-hmm. um, then that's that's who you are. Like you just because you died, it doesn't make oh, like all that goes away and you're an angel. Uh-huh. Like, no, like hopefully you you know, you prayed and believed in Jesus and, and go to heaven, but at the same time you still did some wrong. I agree with that. Cause it's just like, for instance, you know when Cheap Key first <clears throat> came out with uh, that when back in that I don't like era and all that, mm-hmm. back then it seemed wild because we never seen a 15-year-old like him at the time who was he just just outwardly just talking about this gangbanging shit. Mm-hmm. Him and a bunch of gangbangers in the mm-hmm. video toting pistols, singing about killing people. Back then, that was uncommon. Now, I, you know, it's a wave. But I remember at that time, I was like, yo, Chief Keith ain't going to live past 21. I'm glad I'm wrong. Yeah. And it seems like Chief Keith, he's doing a, a little better. Well, so I'm, he, I'm glad. He actually, at least his uh, gang killed one of his nemesis. After that song, yeah, I know. I don't like well, allegedly, nemesis. allegedly. Well, and he been trying to. He so, was going through a time where he was chasing a uh, sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but six nine asked for that shit. But here's my th- here's my standpoint on that. The reason I bring that up mm-hmm. is because I remember back then I was saying, man, what if Chief Keef were to die? I bet you, like, how many motherfuckers are gonna say, oh, but he was a good kid. You know, this real. I can lie. I'm like, why bullshit? Nah, this wanna, little motherfucker has been terrorizing everybody in the hood Chief since Keith, he was fucking that's a, 13, 12. That's a bad example. Chief Keith didn't want to say him, he's a good kid. But XXX, the thing is, he had, sometimes he had the purest intentions. I I, I believe to say that. And then after mm. you kind of seen his, hearing about his life, like his childhood, you know, him and his mother. Um, not growing up in a real good childhood and his troublesome youth days, like it makes you feel for the brother. Then, like, look, every villain got a backstory. All right, right. every like, villain got a backstory. Sucks, every but... every child molester, every yeah. serial mm-hmm. killer, they have some kind of backstory. This mm-hmm. is October is Domestic uh, Violence Awareness Month. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to defend anybody who is accused of hitting any I... woman, especially when we got it on video of yeah. you hitting a woman. Like, you didn't just tap her. Like, you actually hit this woman. So, you know, regardless of how bad of a background you have, like, Mm -hmm. I didn't have the greatest childhood, but I don't go around beating up people because of that. Especially, you know, a man hitting a woman. Like, you, you know, as much as we want to have, like, equal rights and everything and, you know, be treated equal as women... There are some differences in a male's body and a female's body. Yeah, we're like talking a man about the light can stuff. hit harder, uh, harder than a woman, you know. So I think regardless of what good he's done, like even the charity that he was trying to do mm-hmm. and how he bought his mom a home and all this, like, do we forget? Like, there's a lot of people that cover up stuff to mm-hmm. to hide their sins. Yeah, like, you know, and and you may be a good person and just life has done you dirty and you mm-hmm. you make some mistakes. So you know, we can forgive him for those mistakes, but we can't sit up here and act like they didn't happen either. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing. Like nobody's above reproach, okay? Mm-hmm. But in regards to you know Vic Mensa's diss, you know, um, in this sensitive time era, I don't think it was very. Um, reasonable for mm-hmm. him to do that but people could say the same thing about bill cosby and how people are saying if bill cosby and all this other stuff like you that's disrespectful but you know? bill, bill isn't cosby, dead though and, i mean yeah, yeah bill he's not dead. Dead. and that was in adolescent years like we're we honestly people get passes after even up to like 22 23 how many people, people were paying passes. attention to xxx before he died they were, I was. He, he, yeah, like, he a actually did have a cult. Yeah. He has a cult he, following. He had, yeah, he had, he had a cult a following yeah. and music, but I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of people didn't try to change their view on him until he died and the way he died and how he got shot. And they released the video of the people coming up to his car and shooting him and everything. So it's like mm-hmm. a, it's a messed up way to die. Yeah, it so is. I feel like yeah. people are trying to like use sympathy and just like, oh man, like it sucks that he had to die that way yeah. and try to justify that. And oh, we can't say nothing bad about him. And, and that's not the no. case. No, you got to be fully accounted. Like, I, the way I look at it is, mm-hmm. yeah, regardless, life or death, you got to be fully accounted. If you were a bastard all your life while you were living, what do you think I'm going to say about you after you're gone? That, that mo- He was a bastard. Whitney Houston. Okay. Everybody over here, you know, people but, people bring up her drug use. Every time you mm-hmm. mention Whitney Houston, people bring up her drug use because that's what she died from. But 
you know, when you see the movies and everything else, like she was a person that was battling a real disease and mm-hmm. trying to like really, you know, better herself. Yeah. And instead of, you know, being able to overcome it, she fell victim to it and died. But people it, still yeah. bring that up. Like, yeah. I think it's disrespectful to bring that up because it was a disease. But at the same mm-hmm. time, like it was something that she was known for doing. So mm-hmm. am I going to reprimand every person that, that brings up her addiction? No. Like even, you know, Bobby Brown and how he came up with the story, mm-hmm. he could have left that out. But that was an actual part of her life, like their mm-hmm. life together. So, yeah, you know, although it's disrespectful part, to bring it up. You it can't tell true. a story about Whitney Houston without bringing up crack now. Come on. Right. <laughs> you, you, you can't. I mean, right. Yeah, but I feel the way about XXX. Like, we you, can't just sit true. here and say, like, he did charities and he made music mm-hmm. and not bring up the allegations. Absolutely. Him. And the same thing with Michael Jackson. It's messed up. How, Michael Jackson you know, was never proven. Right, right. But people will still bring it up. Yeah. Because they just they just want to yeah, shit on X, there's actually dead. court documents. And y'all know how I feel. Overall, yeah. my uh, overall perception of X, I see him as a kid. You know, I guess some people are like, he's yeah. 20, he's grown. I see him as a kid. Yeah. You know, I like I you like him. him. Yeah, I right. like him yeah. as far as, but I do feel yeah he needs to be fully accountable for all the bullshit that he's done. Yeah. And he even said himself several in several live shows. I know I ain't shit of a person, but I'm working on it. And I felt he really was working on it months prior to his death. And I think he was just robbed of that 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 opportunity. You can never make up for what you did, right. but he was he was robbed of that opportunity to try and become a better person. And that's think- what made me sad about. What happened? I think it's important for people to realize that life is short and, you know, you can go around and be this gangbanger and, you know, do horrible things, whether it's like hitting a woman or, you know, stealing from people, doing fraud, whatever the case. But, you know, if you are living your life thinking, OK, I'm going to just do this, do what I got to do right now to get where I need to be and mm-hmm. then I can make up for it later. It might not be a later. And I think that's what happened in XXX situation. Like, you know, like you said, he may have been on the right path. I mean, he was doing a charity event. Mm-hmm. Who knows? You know, maybe he was going to counseling and trying to turn his life around. But mm-hmm. at the same time, that mm-hmm. got overshadowed by his, his past. And he yeah. didn't have enough time to try to recover from it. I just wish Vic and X could have had the conversation. And oh. whether it went back and forth between, a, you know, a few disses here and there. I just wish X was in a position to lyrically defend himself against these claims or speak out against them I, you know and it's just unfortunate he can't i mean but he did like when the women would come forward and accuse him i'm talking of, about towards vic mensa his no I, I get so that but even women? when yeah, yeah. There's oh multiple. wow yeah. yeah so like even when the allegations first came out he was that i recall him my first like encounters with seeing xxx was like on the blogs and everything where he was Making videos talking about uh, f that girl and do this, you know, trying. That's to, when that was in the very beginning of his career, he right? Was and yeah, and I, I was just like, what is going on? Then mm-hmm. I look into the article and it's like this man is being accused of of hitting this girl, or mm-hmm. accused of this, accused of that, biting her, and all types of shit. Oh, wow. you know, shit like that. And it's just yeah. like that was my first introduction to him. So mm-hmm. that's why I, you know, don't have any sympathy for it because even if I had heard his music and just didn't know it was him, it was like, okay, who is this guy with this crazy, this crazy looking face, mm-hmm. crazy, like no eyebrows, got the <laughs> tattoos on and mm-hmm. you trying to say you didn't hit this girl. Yeah. But it's multiple women that are coming forward. There's videos and you look crazy as hell. <laughs> so mm-hmm. like, it, it, I don't think that like him defending himself is necessary because I think that it was a, God on his truth that he was hitting these girls. Yeah. Mm. Now let's look at like the, the the full the full shit though. What well, uh here's what's ironic about these situations, okay, or maybe contradictory. Vic Mensa also made a song about him choking the fuck out of a girl. You really? know, was and, it during and, sex? Please uh, tell me it was. It was not during sex. Oh no. Oh uh, no. Okay, so Vic Dang, has a follow him next yes, week. Yes, Vic has a, but here, here's what before you unfollow though. Vic has abused women in the past. Oh, Lord, I got to follow him. But here's the thing, though. It's like, not only Vic Vic abused women in the past. Y'all know Adam22 from No Jumper? No. No Jumper Podcast? I follow Adam22. He's the host of No Jumper Podcast. Adam called out uh, Vic Mensa on this, being a hypocrite, because he's like, oh, you abuse women. And then Vic responded by pulling up a tweet. I mean, not pulling up a tweet, pulling up an article of Adam 22's domestic violence situation. So, you know, on Twitter, when you see like whole, you know, a bunch of hoes arguing, calling other hoes hoes, but acting like they're not really hoes, that's what this felt like. Mm. Like, all of y'all have whipped some females' ass in the past, somewhere in the past. Yeah. And y'all all <laughs> going at each other. Interesting. This you know, is, this is crazy. Yeah. So, it's like. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lord. I I, I that, hope it's it's like that yeah, Bible verse before you yeah he before has before you uh point out the speck in uh your brother's Sorry, eye take, yeah, take it the out plank of, out of your own t- take it the uh, speck out of your eye yeah, yeah, yeah so wow it, so yeah man I it's think but with Vic mm. 
I could. I, I think yeah. he, Vic could be a could speak out about domestic violence, that, but I'm glad he acknowledged. Them, I'm glad he acknowledged he should, his past. Yeah, though. I'm glad. I think you're right. He should speak about out of, on yeah. it. It's cool, but he shouldn't be an ambassador because that's what it looks like. He's trying well, to do. Well, here's the thing: you can't acknowledge it. You can't. You can't speak about it until you acknowledge your shit. And I will say he did. I, I say he can talk about it. I could tell you don't do drugs if I did crack before and I admit my crack addiction. I can tell you why it's so bad. Mm. Uh, so, but uh, it's a fine line. It's a fine line because you had to have come out and like you have to do the work. Like you can't mm-hmm. just do the work behind the scenes. Like if you made a public song about choking a girl, then you went on an interview and admitted to choking a girl. Mm-hmm. Like you can't just then turn around, you know, five years later and say we need to stop talking about abusing women. Like what work have you done? Well, we don't you know what's be- on his calendar on his door. You know, like one hundred and forty nine days. Mm-hmm. Of I not being a chick's ass? Yeah, yeah. No, that is not <laughs> sufficient. You need to be, if you if you were going to be the person who is a spokesperson, like, let me, let me you know, take this issue and run with it, then you have to have shown that you've done the work, whether that's showing, you know, you sitting there with your counselor or if that's holding rallies for men, like, you know, so you can talk about these issues and have therapists there for people that are really, you know, eager to stop beating on women mm-hmm. like you have to have done something yeah you can't just like sit up there and disappear and not talk about beating girls for a long time and then come back and say we need to stop beating girls yeah did you stop like that that's my whole thing like because mm-hmm. that leaves the you know the questionnaire of did you how do we know that you're not still choking out girls yeah so i'm just pissed off that i had to follow him and unfollow him <sighs> Interesting, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And speaking and we kinda, of... We, we spoke of one rapper last week when EJ and EJ is absent uh, that I did some research on, NBA Youngboy. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's actually a surveillance video of yeah. him body slamming his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah that, girl like, that girl was crazy. That girl was not crazy. even like... At first, I'm thinking, oh, maybe he just... He, he Ray Lewister. Was mm-hmm. it Ray, Ray Rice, my bad. Mm-hmm. Ray yeah. Reister. And that was very concerning. Motherfucker got off way too yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Way she, too easy. Yeah, she... she I'm very she loves him. She yeah. ain't leaving him no time soon. Talking about, oh, we just playing. That's how we play. Talking Poor about girl. I was making noodles, and that's how I got this black eye. Girl, the water popped up in my eye. girl. Girl, you gotta be some. And he type got of a smoke. mad uh, uh, fan base following. I've been um, substituting, and I, I've seen students love this guy. Oh, kids love him. Kids yeah. love young boy. Love that guy. I, I'm really just scared for the future because I feel like. You know, we come from the last of the era where it's like you're going to be held accountable for your actions. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like as much as everybody loved Bill, we all still want something to happen to him because, yeah. you know, he did this. Or, you know, anybody else that gets accused of something just like heinous or just, just crazy. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this young generation, like, they don't care. The thing is, if you can go viral off of it, to them it's all good. Yeah, so if you go viral like, being a chick ass... It's not, maybe it's yeah. not so bad. I yeah. get these views. Have to they look at it like with a, your statement a get rich. That's right. You say thing. we come from, and sorry to cut you off here, uh, but you said we come from an era, the last of being held accountable. I think we're going. We're in the beginning of an era of you actually being held accountable for your action because we have uh, new technology and the the, uh, the cell phone era and the camera era. Because th- there was always allegedly this and that, and, and maybe people never had a tabloid or the opportunity to put themselves Are you talking about because a- the Me Too movement? Yes. Me but Too. see, I think the Me Too, the, well, I know that the Me Too movement is organized by an older group of people. Mm-hmm. Like the reason that, you know, like Bill Cosby and uh, Harvey Weinstein are being held accountable because yeah. they are of a certain age group and there are people of a certain age group holding them accountable. Mm-hmm. Those people are in power and those, you know, like if they wanted to really like focus on everybody, mm-hmm. then young, M- uh, whatever his name is, the NBA guy, he would be held accountable and not be able to like do anything, you know? But unfortunately, and we talked but about this a little on- bit on last episode, that rap culture promotes rape culture. It's like almost a safe place. Like it's like rappers can get away with literally saying anything in their lyrics. Yeah, no, like you can't Rick talk Ross. about rape though. Um, Rick, Rick Ross had that line. Po- he did uh, about popping a Molly. Yeah, I put a Molly in the champagne. She didn't even know it. 
It, oh yeah, yeah. Th- but if you really, crazy. if we go back to all crazy. the, if we go to discology, uh, discology of a lot of rappers <laughs> and really look back in it time, you'll be seeing even Tupac probably see hints of rape culture. No, oh, yeah, rap no, definitely no. Yeah, yeah. promoted rape I'm not, culture. I'm not saying that that's not true at all, but what I'm saying is that there are certain people of a certain caliber mm-hmm. and age group and influence group that are being held accountable. Like, yeah, any rapper really, you can go into their old music and listen to it and be like, dang, like you, you talking crazy. I mean myself like i love rap music but at yeah. the same time i catch myself turning something off because i was like what the hell mm-hmm. like because you just talking crazy you're talking about either hitting women mm-hmm. or forcing them to do something mm-hmm. or you know it's, it's just like i don't as a woman i don't feel comfortable like listening to it because it just makes me feel like i'm condoning it mm-hmm. like it, it, i don't care how hard the song go mm-hmm. like if if you sit over there talking about raping women or you know i, I fucked a bitch and ain't call her back or something like that like mm-hmm. I don't want to hear that shit, like, cause that that's me. That's all adding songs, to. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is yeah. a lot of songs, but yeah. it's also like when I'm conscious and I'm listening to it. It's yeah. one thing if I'm out and I'm drinking, mm-hmm. I can't stop DJ from playing some shit. Yeah, and so it's just like whatever. But when I'm in my car, like I, I'm not listening to no mess like that, cause that's yeah. just like outlandish. But you like, know, it's like the hip, like it's here. Here's what I find interesting, though. I know this in rap, it's like. Because 21 Savage caught a lot of heat like a few months ago, a year ago, because he had a lyric where he kind of alluded to rape. But it's funny because it's like rape is absolutely forbidden like to talk about in rap. Absolutely taboo. But yet a rapper could go and talk about killing 30 motherfuckers in one verse. Mm. Why is that in, in different? Black on black crime. Yeah, like why, yeah, but my yeah. question is why why is murder better accepted but rape is off that, limits? This is true. Eminem this made an entire is. song about Kim basically killing his ex wife. Yeah, an entire song about it, and then he made a song with his daughter of them hiding the body. Oh six, Bonnie and Clyde, or oh mm-hmm. three. You know, you just notice. Yeah, I have, mean, it is it is messed up. Like I think rap now is just about the perception of what people want to be versus what they actually went through because i like with eminem like he was going through things with his ex-wife so mm-hmm. that's kind of like a form of therapy so although i don't condone but him trying okay? to kill her no mm-hmm. but but a lot of these people their only outlet is their music i like the song mm-hmm. however as a guy if <laughs> yeah. if you really just like man i I woke up today. I want to rape a bitch, and and your <laughs> your form of therapy and getting it out and talking about it is making a song about raping a bitch. You need to go get help. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's that's the thing. I, I I feel like your your thoughts formulate your um your thoughts formulate your conversations, and your conversation can lead to your actions, create mm-hmm. behaviors. So you speak stuff to existence, mm-hmm. but it can be. Why and that's, he, why he take that roundabout way? To say <laughs> I just, I, to yeah, I just wanted to do pull Kanye. But mm-hmm. anyways, listen, no, it's that's premeditated right there. That's motives from premeditated premeditation. I mean, but that's what happens when a lot of these guys go to um, end up getting caught for something on a gun charge or something <laughs> yeah, like that. But they do use but their sure music that as artists a be held for it. accountable for it. Then yeah, they should be held accountable because that, that artist time, influenced that person. You know. It, no that artists influence that person to commit that crime. No, no, no. I I, I see what you're saying, man. Mm-hmm. A lot of people agree with your standpoint, but at the end of the day, man, it sir, sir, not everyone is meant to consume a certain form of entertainment. Not everyone is there mentally or psychologically to consume certain things. For instance, I know we have like an age thing with how like how old should your kids be until you let them watch a violent movie or play violent video games or shit. Right. For like me, they're rated mature. And, yeah, you know, for me, are. I can't give up a, a specific age number. I have to know that kid individually and be like, where are they emotionally? Do they under do they have a firm to know the difference? Yeah, understanding of fantasy versus reality. My twelve year old may have a much better standing of fantasy and reality versus my fifteen year old. You know, it just, it really depends. But at the end of the day, you look at all these kids that shut up schools and shit. They also play violent video games. People make the correlation between the two. But Mm -hmm. what they leave out is what kind of psychological issues were these kids having on top of playing violent video games? Most of these kids were fucked up in the head mentally, suffer from all kinds of disorders, schizophrenia, fucking, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, A chemical imbalance, all kinds of shit. And you add that to playing video game of uh, violent video games and that so my point my point nana mm-hmm. going to just what you're saying mm-hmm. is it's not up to the creatives or up to the art I, that, i'm kind of contradicting myself here because i do yeah. believe there i see both yeah. sides there is a certain i do yeah. think there is a certain amount of responsibility <laughs> right mm-hmm. 
But at the same time, no, you shouldn't hold an artist accountable for shoot for if, if a kid goes and shoots somebody. That's not the artist's fault. If Why the fuck your mom say shoot him up? I honestly like a, a, every time back in the day when I was in high school and college. Well, high school, I'll say this: when that song "Nuck If You Buck" come on, Oof. you know, when that song <laughs> come on, it, it, it revitalized some people. And Hell there's yeah! Always a fight. The DJ Think knew about it. <laughs> if we play Taylor Swift or we're playing Miley Cyrus, but uh-huh. well, he's playing Nuck If You Buck, uh-huh. and it owes the DJ is like, "It's too many pretty girls in here for y'all to be fighting. Don't fight." No, and then D- right after he <laughs> says that, he plays Nuck If You Buck. DJs play that shit so they can get paid to go home early because they know that shit going to start a fight, which is crazy. But but, yeah. but going off of your I argument, mean, it, it's, should it's, Crime it's Mob be held accountable for making an aggressive song that gets people hype? No, if you're the type that listens to. If you know hearing a song like Nuck If You Buck makes you do stupid shit, just like if you know you're going to do stupid shit after you drink, I mean, you can. shouldn't drink alcohol. You shouldn't listen to certain music in public if you know it's going to make you act out. And not everybody fights with Nuck If You Buck. I know. I Some don't. do, what is it, <laughs> the alphas that do their uh, their stroll? Yeah. Thank you. Do you do that? So, we rocking stilettos, help. We rocking, hell yeah. That was the shit, yeah. too. We are rocking <laughs> yeah. stilettos. If I'm I didn't know what stilettos were, and I, I feel like that was above my vocabulary mm-hmm. uh, learning at the time. Like, and I'm glad they brought it to um, our what? attentions. Like stilettos, that's a long we word. Gotta, we got a S T. How you spell stilettos then? S T I L E T T O. Am I right? Y'all be mad at me talking about we got to do. This isn't, this isn't spell, about st- spelling spell, it. This spell is about stilettos. knowing what they are. I didn't know what stilettos were. Okay, I, that's I fine. Be, uh, so now we see the positive effects of music. <laughs> because it can uh, broaden somebody's vocabulary. Yeah, like, absolutely. And, and, that's why, and, that's, that and to this day, episode. you look up words. Independent. And when bo- little Boosie. How uh, many of y'all didn't know, have uh, never heard of Ludacris until the rapper came out? And okay. people still don't know what Ludacris <laughs> means. Yeah, ridiculous. Some people that's are like, oh, Ludacris, Ludacris, Ludacris the rapper? Man, they don't even know what the this word means. Ludicrous. The definition. Yeah. yeah. This is? I thought yeah. this was. This is preposterous. Yeah, so shout out to Luda. Shout out to Luda. But yeah. Uh, any other thoughts about this? Um, man, I'm like, I'm just very concerned. I'm just very concerned. And women, I don't, I don't do that. So if you're trying to get with me, I don't right, even so do that. I just on. give you hugs. Speaking of <laughs> people that are delusional, um, so Azalea Banks, as always, is back in the news. Mm, the and female Kanye. Yeah, and she hooked up with Kanye, so mm. now like the world. <laughs> what does she do? Kanye. Like I don't, I hear her name all the time, but what does she do? That's she actually a very good question. She makes music. She's like that, Tommy um, from. She's uh, very Martin. popular overseas, and mm-hmm. she's very popular with the gay community. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, she's popular overseas, mm-hmm. but she's known for talking a lot of shit and trolling people, getting her accounts blocked by saying like the most sacrificing throat shit. chickens. Yeah, sacrificing, sacrificing chickens. chickens. She definitely has some sort of sacrificing. disorder. Sacrificing. Mm. Yeah, okay. she got some devilness in her. Now, now, so here's the thing. So apparently, Azalea Banks and Lana Del Rey is it Lana no, or Lena? You book. Huh? I think it's Lena. Lena, whatever the fuck. I don't keep up with white media, but Lana Del Rey are beefing no, right now. If you book, what? all right. So the white woman, by the way. Yes, Lana Del Rey. Here's my thing. I feel kind of weird about this. Although Azalea Banks was completely in the wrong here. I just cannot side against a black woman in favor of a white woman. I can't. I can't. Only because it's I her. can't. Only because I have. <laughs> only because I have officially removed Azalea Banks from the black community um, because she talks about bleaching. She talks about. Um, she plays victim on her dark skinness all the time. Um, it says that's that's why she's not popular, you know, in the U.S. And that's not where her career should be because she is dark skinned and it has absolutely nothing to do with that. We just don't like your ass because you be trolling everybody. Um, also, she has like an extensive history of going back and forth with people and talking shit about people, including Beyonce. So mm-hmm. that's really why I don't nobody fuck with you because if you ever yes. come for the queen, like your career is a wrap. Queen. Where hey, you at, Carrie? Carrie, Carrie Hilton, Hilton <laughs> and Keisha Cole ain't ever been the same. Damn. So um, and Carrie yeah. was Carrie was next up too. That's the thing. She next was, up where? Like I'm talking about in terms of popularity. Nah. She during that she, time, I randomly saw her perform here in the club in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Like I was just there for somebody's birthday and. They were like Carrie Hilson, and I was like, "Whoa!" But and see, she performed, and she tr- was trash. She was see, trash. but during that time, she had a song with Wayne. She was coming up, but then she went and she had to go with the beehive. Of, only because of her Ooh, connections, because she was already a songwriter, is, so she already knew that? all the producers and and you know everybody in the music industry. So it was like when you know somebody, like you can do well, kind of like Neo. Yeah, Neo was never problematic, uh-huh. besides like his situ- personal situation. No, but, but Neo um, was a writer. He's a producer. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was a writer, so, so. and then so that's what I'm saying. He had mm-hmm. the connection. 
fashion, so his career was able to skyrocket. Carrie could have done that, but she also was just trash. She was a trash performer. I've right. never seen something so trash before. Actually, really? the only the only other person who was more trash was Nicki Minaj. I saw her live, and I was highly disappointed. Oh wow! And this was she's, when she's this was trash? like a few years ago. Trash. This is when uh. she was dating Meek, and like they first oh, started dating, and, mm. and Drake was like, "Are you on a world tour or your girl tour?" Mm. Yeah, like she so. It, it's actually ironic that she canceled her queen tour because she wants to learn her music and have more uh-huh. time to learn it. Because <laughs> her old song, yeah, yeah well, it's future. rescheduled to next year or something. Oh, I, but her performance um, here in Dallas at Jexa was the worst thing I've ever seen. Like it was points where she obviously didn't know the lyrics and like pointed the mic towards the, the <laughs> audience. To cheat. But you do it too yeah. late. Like you, we already see that you don't know. Mm-hmm. And it was her old songs. Like it was like, like if you don't know the words to Itty Bitty Piggy, get the fuck off stage. <laughs> oh wow. Like that was a song. That's every a, was girl, yeah. every girl knows that song. Like, yeah, are you kidding that. me? Yeah. Like that was some, like that was, Dang. that's what put Nikki on. It was, it really was. And the fact that know, you didn't know that those song. lyrics, yeah. I, I literally could have took my shoe off and threw it at her. <laughs> I was the irony. And, and this was before, Cardi, gonna be a Cardi this, B. <laughs> this was before Cardi B was ever in existence. <laughs> this was before the Nikki hate train. This is when she first started dating Nick. And I remember that because I said to myself, now if she wasn't busy sucking his hoo ha. She might know her <laughs> lyrics and might know the dance moves. Cause she didn't know the dance moves either. <clears throat> oh, I was so pissed. I was so pissed. It, does she oh. even dance? I never really see her dance. No, she's not a dancer, but you know how they, you can't just go do on stage. You know, they do a little bit yeah. choreography, but you know, her butt don't move. So mm-hmm. Dang. I think it moved now, but it didn't then. So like, sorry, I was just mad about that. I see. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't believe it. I said, whoa, like this is the first time I ever seen Nikki. And I was an avid Nikki fan. That is what, Started the fucking Nikki hate train. She can blame Cardi B all she want, but that tour and Travis. If you and did, if you did like that whole tour the way that you did Dallas, that is what started your damn train. You was a goddamn conductor. Nicki Minaj did this to herself. That's the she thing. She, all of this, all this misfortune, all she brought this completely on herself. I mean, Karma's a bitch. Like you did all this dissing to Lil Kim, and I understand that Lil Kim wasn't that completely receptive mm-hmm. to you know Nikki. But at the same time, like you could have just went about your life, kind of like J Lo went about her life with yeah. the whole Mar- Mariah Carey situation. How Mariah Carey to this day still doesn't know her. <laughs> so like, but J Lo ain't going to make no songs about her. No, nah. Mariah Carey don't know J Lo. Yes, she doesn't know her. Like you mean personally? Is that what you like, mean? Like if you ask Mariah Carey a question about J Lo. Mariah Carey will say, I don't know her. Get the fuck out of here. That's just shade. You know who the fuck J Lo is. Right. You know but who the fuck, fuck J Lo is. She don't fuck with her. She don't fuck with her. So she say that I don't know her. Dang. <laughs> so I mean that's the ultimate shade. That's the ultimate disrespect. Yeah. Especially since J Lo out here getting like she Vanguard getting awards yeah. and whatnot. But she she crossed. You know, J Lo taking the high road. Too. Yeah, dang. Mm, but I'm Nikki could have took the high road instead. She made this songs against Lil Kim, which I loved them. This songs too. And yeah, Lil Kim's were trash. Mm-hmm. Lil Kim's were trash. But at the same time, like Nikki has bitten off everything that Lil Kim has done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. She needed and it's something karma. to boost it's her karma. Uh, career. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, speaking of it, man, another um, interesting thing on the news that I know everybody's waiting for us to talk about is your boy Yeezy. All right, uh, yay. Yeezy and my man him. Donald Trump uh, <laughs> met at the Oval Yo Office. Your man Donald Trump? Donald Trump, he's cool. I'm cool with him. You cool with Trump? Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at you for saying that. You would call him his toupee? No, but I'm I'm cool. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So let's play that. Let's start off with the video, the Instagram. Oh no, not not that video. But like we had the video for IG SNL did a parody off of it's the man Instagram. did a parody off of the whole Donald Trump meme, yeah. the passcode thing. Picture, all right, of an airplane, okay, on my iPhone, and let me put the passcode in zero 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 zero. I'm a genius. His password is six zeros. Well, at least now I feel a lot better about my password eight zero zero eight five, aka boobs. Okay, okay, here's here's a picture of a new plane. I want this to be your new Air Force One. Wow, very cool, very cool indeed. But where's the plane? It's invisible. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> And, 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 and who is that? That's Wonder Woman. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should order your lunch from a pharmacy. <laughs> now, 
I want to show y'all a picture, <laughs> yeah. all right, of an airplane. It, I feel, yeah. first of all, I feel guilty for laughing because it was a menstrual breakdown and, like, he's mentally ill. I, I equated to... Did he say to, a menstrual breakdown? He did. Mm-hmm. You know what a menstrual... No, yes. I just heard Don King say so. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Mm. I just heard it on CNN, oh. and that's exactly what he said. And you, mm. this guy, fuck with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just... Yeah, that's exactly what. Um, that's probably why you single, bro. That's probably. <laughs> See, <laughs> don't. That's not. <laughs> you know what that's a menstrual why. is. You know what a menstrual cycle is. That's that's literally what he said on CNN. Don. He said that on CNN. Okay. Quoted. So you just you just copy people's words. Yeah, I but gotcha. I mean I believe it. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. I see what you do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. But can I let me finish my point well, here? Well, you had um, that long ass pause, so I just was gonna try to <laughs> like smooth over the. Pause. Um. No, nah, but like I think equated to laughing at him is like laughing at a pa- ca- cancer patient. He's mentally ill. Hell fucking no. Would and you you're laugh mentally at ill for thinking that a cancer patient and a mental illness is the same thing. It, it, they're all very not they're ailments they're not good for you you know it's um it's unfortunate <laughs> like would you laugh at a can- cancer patient if he's the cancer, mentally ill granted if the cancer patient was being a dick i i i, I, I have no pro i would have no problem going at the cancer patient if he was being a dick mm-hmm. we're i'm but we're going offside the fact <laughs> the whole point is a cancer patient and somebody with mental illness it, are not the same thing they are not the same thing. For one, at all. a mental illness directly is not a death sentence. Directly, it, 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 it can be. Hmm? I, I, they, and like we talked about suicide on the episode, uh, one of those episodes, and like a lot of people actually suicide is number tenth causing death. There's a in difference America. between laughing at a person for having a mental illness and laughing at a person for what they're doing. Yes. Sometimes people with mental illnesses, they just do like stuff that is just funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, mentally ill. I mean, I mentally when I was younger, I, I cared for a young boy that had autism mm-hmm. and he like associated um, like when he was ready to go home, he would run out the door. Mm-hmm. Like he, you know, people with autism, they sometimes have, you know, they take everything literal. Yeah. So when he was ready to go, he would literally <laughs> dart out the door and we would have to yeah. run out there so he didn't cross the street. And, you know, it was like funny. Like at first, the first couple of times we were like, oh my God. Like, but then once we realized why he was doing it, mm-hmm. because every time he went home, he went out the door. So when he was ready, he would go out the door. It was yeah. just like, oh, that's so funny that you think of it that way because it is the literal thing. Like if you're ready to go home, yeah. you go out the door. That's why I fuck with people who have autism, to tell you. I mm-hmm. fuck with autistic individuals. Oh, excuse me. People with autism. Okay. I like their, they, 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 it's like they literally cannot lie or they don't, they don't fall for, they don't bullshit people. Right. They can't do it. Mm-hmm. I love, amazing. yeah. Do you watch The Good Doctor? I'm going to watch The Good Doctor. It's on Hulu, and it's so good. And it's so, like, he literally has problems, like, lying to patients. Like, he, if he doesn't know what they have and he thinks it might be something, he just, like, avoids telling them. Like, mm-hmm. but he, he can't lie about it. Yeah. Like, so when he has a lie, he, like, goes and gets another resident to, like, can you lie to this patient for me? <laughs> yeah, it's on my cue list, actually. Y'all should check out Atypical on Netflix. Atypical? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, that, it's about a high-functioning kid with autism, but it's a mm-hmm. comedy. It's not, I like the way they do it. It's not just a depressing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this it's a, is a drama. He's a doctor. Yeah, I know. It has my dude from, um, what's that show? Uh, the Horror v- Bates Hotel. Hmm. Bates Hotel. Yeah, it's a star of Bates Hotel on that one. That's a series or a movie? Both. Well, oh, no, okay. the, 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 the show is called Bates Motel, but I think the, the movie was named after the character. Uh, what was his name again? The killer? Uh, Norman, Bates. Norman Bates. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Norman Bates. Yeah, I don't do horror movies, yeah. but... But yeah, that I'm reminds me too. Like Family I was Family Guy, like yeah. y'all watching all these. <laughs> we know. Um, <laughs> but like I gotta tell y'all this. Like back back to the laughing at people with disabilities. No, no, we're not laughing at people with disabilities. But they <laughs> do do some. The they do do some saying. funny shit. Okay, I was working with this kid who was in a wheelchair. I think he has aut- some form of autism, maybe Asperger's, whatever the fuck. And this dude, do you remember that song Coco? The you know I'm in love yeah, with the yeah. Coco. That shit yeah. was lit. It was around that time. And I don't know, like, this kid just came up to me. He, he kind of has, like, a speech problem, you know, whatever. But I leaned into him because he's trying to tell me something. And he was like, I'm in love with the Coco. 
I died the fuck laughing, bro. I did not expect this kid to be singing Coco. Like, you just saw it. Oh, sorry, I love, I'm in love with the Coco. This is probably yeah. one of the shit you probably had to be there. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah. that shit was hilarious. That was the one of the fun. That's yeah. the funniest moments I mean, of the year like, for me. People in general <laughs> do and say funny stuff, especially when they don't inten- intend it to be that way. And I mm. think Kanye's like situation sitting down with Donald Trump, it was just like a funny situation, whether he wanted to come out funny or serious. Yeah. It was it was funny. Like the the fact that he said putting on a hat made him feel like he could go play ball with his dad. Well, it's what? a baseball cap. So yeah. if you go put on any baseball cap, it should make you feel that way. If you want to be literal, why does the one that says make America great again mm-hmm. make you feel like you could play with your dad? This is the thing with Kanye, and I think a lot of people kind of miss when Kanye is talking. He's literally in live thought. Like I don't think Kanye. I don't believe he goes into most things prepared mm-hmm. with talking he points. Just says I think he's just saying mind. exactly what he's feeling at that very moment, and in his mind, all the dots are connected. Right. But I don't think. If but outside, it doesn't make much sense. Which mm-hmm. is funny. Like if you yeah. literally said exactly what came to your mind, it would not make sense, and it would be funny. Like people would mm-hmm. like, what are, what are you saying? What are you getting at? Did you mean to say blah blah yeah. blah? Oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh. Now, that's funny that you like you just are regurgitating words and wanting them to make sense and then yeah. hopefully somebody can grasp onto that's it. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kanye I'm just in enjoys live all the time. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah. I You're think silent Kanye... a lot though. Mm-hmm. So that's a little concerning. Well, but... the only reason I'm silent because I don't want to say something <laughs> with my live thought. Cause uh-huh. if I really say what's on my what's live What's on your dot... mind? <laughs> don't be a pussy. What's on your I, I, I thought I shoot. thought your silence was just like you I was like this ray is kind of glowing today. That's what I was really thinking. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a number. But but you know why I think Kanye puts the hat on, yo? I think he really That's puts why, the hat on because yeah. he's trolling. I think he knows exactly the reason this he feels like Superman. He mm-hmm. knows it's Superman because he knows he can get people's emotions just like that when he puts on the hat. Because he says he loves I, at taking first, it on I didn't and off. Believe on that. And off. Right. I, first I didn't believe that till we get onto our next topic. I didn't mm-hmm. believe. At first, I was like, I really think there's something wrong with Kanye West, and he might be autistic. But after I, I heard the Drake and uh, LeBron interview, mm-hmm. then I was like, this guy is a professional troller. Yeah. I, I really think that when Kanye goes home, um, Kim and them are encouraging him to be who he is. And I feel like then they reprimand him for something, or Kim is like, why did you say that? Or, you know, she does damage mm-hmm. control. But I think this is all a ploy. Mm-hmm. For her to leave him, yeah, and I, I and really then reinvent her brand mm-hmm. because like all, those women are it smart. Will, I really don't want to see it, it Kim will, leave all Kanye. Of those, yeah. All of those women in that family are talentless in the sense of like they don't do music, they don't do you know play any sports or you know anything of that. They're great at business, so there's no way that they would be letting their brand like kind of suffer or take any hits mm. off of him. Not that it necessarily is, but it doesn't look great for Kim because that's your husband. And the fact that he said he's moving to Chicago, and she's like, we ain't moving. I'm not moving to Chicago and I'm not moving the kids to Chicago. Mm-hmm. I feel like she's letting him, like encouraging him, like, babe, yeah. do whatever you want to do. You know, don't let these people yeah. tell you anything. And then like goes back and does a damage mm-hmm. control. Yeah. She's going to leave that. Because I'm she got what she wanted out of Kanye, the kids. She, she wanted black kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. she got so she has the next lineage because she has to have a mark on this world. So she has the kids. <sighs> they got their little mixed babies. Yeah, and, and they got West last name mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian West. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. So like, it's always her, gonna be iconic, no matter how yeah, crazy yeah, he true. is. Mm-hmm. Man, I kind of I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I really if I want Kim to leave Kanye or not. Part of me is like maybe if she She's leaves not him, do it anytime he'll put out a dope ass album. That he hasn't in a while, or maybe it will push him over the edge and he won't cope with it. Because literally, it's like he attached to her shortly after losing but his mom. But have you seen you know, the video? Amber. So when Kanye was, before he came and out and did his rants about slavery being a choice and stuff, there were a lot of videos that Kim would put out where he just looked like a damn zombie. Mm-hmm. Like he was just like standing there, like smiling, like creepily, Amazing. like literally like in Get Out. And so, like, I, I feel like medical. she's not connected to him, especially all the clips that have come out from mm-hmm. um, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, where she's like, I got him a Band-Aid because he had a cut, and he was mad because I, he wanted a different color. Like, he didn't want what? the color Band-Aid that I picked. <laughs> what? And I'm like, I'm trying to go. Or he wanted to, like, sit down um, and have conversation with her or whatever, and she was just busy working, and then the kid came up and said, let's go take a bath, and she was like, okay. And then he got mad at her, like, oh, so you don't want to sit here and talk with me, but you want to go and take a bath with the kids. Uh And so I I think 
those women are very smart and very calculated. I think they're releasing bit by bit mm-hmm. on like stuff so that way when she does leave him or does or maybe she won't leave him. Maybe it'll mm-hmm. be something else that's just as dramatic. But I think whatever her next plan is, this is the segue into it. So it doesn't look like she just leave it. I mean, because if you think about it, like she left her other husband in mm-hmm. however many days that they were married. Yeah. So like if she leaves Kanye, it's just like you just be up and leaving people. <sighs> but if you kind of have like a justifiable mm-hmm. excuse, yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't it look could, as bad. And, and EJ did uh, touch on this point. She has been very loyal to Kanye, mm-hmm. so she needs a way to like you know betray her loyalty. Yeah, she needs she needs him to she do something so over the edge mm-hmm. that it's like, whew, this mm-hmm. is my way out. Yes. Ah, I don't I just don't want Kanye yeah. to get fucked over like that, man. I know a lot of people are on the hate Kanye train. Mm-hmm. I still I'm love not. Kanye. Yeah. I still love Kanye. What person with fucking with the uh, the Kim the Kardashians, the Jenners hasn't get gotten fucked over? Like, ah, be man. honest, only one is is Travis Scott right now, but he's actually winning because she's worth more than him. Yeah, and they're still their relationship is still fresh. Yeah, but you know all the rest of the men that they've dated, they you know, gone to the bottom after, not completely to the bottom, but they just kind of like fell off as a hot topic. Yeah, they're like nigga vampires. Like, mm. they just suck the life out of every black man. Yeah. Culture vultures. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, man, I, I really don't want them to do Ye bad. Yeah. I really do. I really feel like Ye in his mind, he may have the best intentions. But how I many just, people were so against him and uh, Kim? Like, you everybody. Know, the black community, we really wanted him to marry a black woman because we mm-hmm. knew that's what he needed. Like, yeah. regardless of him being black, like, we knew, like, okay, Kanye, you don't need just somebody who's going to go a, a yes woman. Mm-hmm. You need you, somebody who's going to keep your ass straight and narrow. And then, it's you know, I, I saw something. I saw something interesting on uh, Twitter where somebody was like, Kanye needs a black woman in his life. See, this is why he should have married a black woman. And somebody else came back and said, nah, don't put that on us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to deal with all black men and all the black men problems. Like, we ain't the fixers of everything. Y'all don't be rooting for us. So, nah. And I just thought yeah. that was, like, so hilarious. Because that's true. I wouldn't want to deal with that shit either. I know. That's why I give Kim her props for putting up with it, for dealing with it, at least what it looks like on the outside. That's a lot. That's a lot mm-hmm. dealing with somebody who's... But, Not all the way there. Yeah, but Kim's a lot too. I just feel like they're both so dramatic and like have the same type of personality traits mm-hmm. that is is gonna come ahead one day. You yeah. know, hopefully, you know, hopefully she doesn't leave him. Like I'm not wishing ill on their marriage at all, but at the same time. Like, I just feel like if you weren't planning something, like, you wouldn't release any of this. Because it ain't like he just started acting up, asking for different color band-aids and shit like that. Because remember, yeah. they bought a, whole, a house and then gutted that whole house mm-hmm. to re, to redo it for the longest and was staying with her mom and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. that was crazy. Why don't you just buy a house more similar to what you want? Yeah. Then to sit there and, like, redo the whole house. And then now they've released, like, some some clips of the house, like, every so often. And that house looks so damn bare. Mm-hmm. Like it just looks like a museum. You talking about like the all white space? Yeah, like it's just like, like in bland colors, like just like blah. Like I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Like when you like when Kanye I think of West Kanye, co- uh, color line. Yeah, color it looks line. like his clothing line mm-hmm. just on the walls. And when I think of Kanye West, like the old Kanye West back in the day, graduation mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. all that, I think of somebody would like art on the wall like expensive ass art and just like a room that's just like kind of like chris brown how he has his rooms that are graffiti and colorful and just like you know artistic expression and and it's kind of weird all that that stuff like that all that stuff can be a distraction too at least for me i thought i like my place has a lot of art and a lot of shit around it but then i also i also have an office and my office space is pretty plain because i just don't like i have to get away from all those distractions. That's your focus center. Yeah, you exactly. Need business. You go so, in there. Yeah. I kind of like the all white look as a workplace. <laughs> like I like mm-hmm. the just plain the blandness of it. Well, <laughs> speaking of women that are uh, loyal to a fault, um, mm-hmm. Fabulous, yeah, has gotten himself some charges through the state. Son of a bitch. Mm. And um, I just thought that was really awesome, especially since it is uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So mm. that was a win yeah. for the month. Um, and to be clear, I'm like, such, well, I was such a fabulous fan. Like I literally, I was, I was too. Trying, I was religiously oh, trying wow. to. Um, plan a trip to Vegas because you know mm-hmm. he goes to Dre's every so often and mm-hmm. performs and I have been wanting to see him perform for the longest yeah. I think his performance him. would be more lethargic like it would be it would probably put me asleep no, well I, I was, I, I was, I was a, huge, a fan and yeah, until that too. video came out of, of them going back and forth and I was like oh there's a video real talk real talk yeah, is yeah. one of my favorite oh, rap really? albums like I, I love Fab as an artist I love his mixtape oh, wow. yeah. like, oh my god, it's mixed but I can't condone this fuck shit I let's go ahead and play the video one two and three yeah 
Yeah, I think he's, he's a, a trash artist. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I, man. <laughs> Honestly, this is hard I don't even me, listen but... to rap, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be listening to jazz. Here it is. So it's her dad. That's, that's, that's him the, in the in the hat. So he. And that's her dad and her brother. So he's in the green, right? Mm-hmm. And there's kids screaming. He's threatening he's gonna kill her. Types of fuck shit. Yeah, but um, this so this the day, violence? no, this was the aftermath. This was out publicly, so that's how somebody, some just random person living near them recorded it. But um, you know, supposedly this same day or the day before, um, he knocked her teeth out. Oh wow! Front teeth. Yeah. Um, came he out. he found wow. out that she was gonna be in L.A. and he like sent her some threatening text messages, like "Who told you to go to L.A.?" Mm -hmm. and you know all this oh, other wow. shit. Threatening so, to kill. Did he pull ever pull a gun out on her? Um, I don't remember, but she texted her dad and brother like, you know, he's threatening me. Like when I come back, come to the house, and you know, all everything, you know, basically Dang. snowballed from there, where he allegedly knocked her two front teeth wow. out and all this other stuff. So, I mean, but they've been together for some years, so th I don't think someone progressively becomes abusive. I think mm -hmm. if they're going to be abusive, they would have done it in the first few years. Um, so. It's usually I, I, a pattern. Would, it's usually like yeah. they start off like abuse are really they start off really nice. Yeah, it's not like you meet them at the club or meet them at wherever a coffee shop and they're just like I don't know, like beating bitches ass. You know, you right. interested? Like you know, they come in, they come up as Mister Nice, Charming, all that shit. Then all of a sudden they'll be extremely cruel to you. One time you're like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is coming from? Where's that nice guy I met? Then they'll be all again nice to you again. Mm -hmm. And it's just that repeated cycle of beating you down, mm. being and nice they, to and you. And they've been on and off for 10 years. So yeah. I, I wow. think it's, um, you know, obviously this cannot be the first incident because yeah. they, they've been together so long. There's no way that a man can knock your teeth out mm -hmm. and it be the first time he ever hits you. So, um, you know, I it hurts my heart. And yeah. I definitely deleted all. After that video came out, you know, some months ago, I deleted all my fabulous music and uh, it hurt my heart. I didn't. But at the same time. He's he's been trash. Though. At, no, ah, fabulous I, has I feel like off a little bit lyrically. I feel like he's been like slept on. I think he he's definitely his witty. music make me want to lyrically. Sleep. He's fallen off quite a bit from the real talk era. That was yeah. my favorite rap album. Well, his music makes me want to. I, I just right. think that he's witty. So if you just really listen to his lyrics, I'm like, the thing. I don't really okay. want to listen to your lyrics. Mm -hmm. Well, like, I, I, don't I like that. Have to that's spend that's, the time that's enticing. And be like, to oh, me. let me hear this. This is really good. Like. I want you to just, you know, be like, hey, vibe group. That's why I like Drake a lot because mm -hmm. Drake, he, he speaks with so much clarity, like uh, even a child can understand mm -hmm. it. Okay. So back to Fabulous. <laughs> yeah. um, so, like, I, I'm yeah. just happy that, you know, just the charges are um, coming across. Speaking my heart out. I am too. Because, not because, like, I'm rooting for him to go to jail or anything. I mean, if you did it, you should obviously pay for the crime. Mm -hmm. But um, at the same time, I think it's important for people to realize, like, just because you hit a girl and she dropped the charges, that does not mean the state can't or pick it up. Or you hit a guy, yeah. anytime, ladies. Any assault yeah. at all can yeah. be picked up by the state. Yeah. So whether you fighting, it's two girls fighting, two men fighting, it, even mm -hmm. if y'all agree to not press any charges, the state can pick it up. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that this happened so it can bring awareness to people. Like, stop threatening these girls. Stop mm -hmm. promising them the world. Stop buying them bags and stuff to get them to hush hush because she's been by his side ever since. They yeah. went to court together and everything, and the, he still got charged. And I, I think it's a good example for people to just realize like you go reap what you sow. Yeah, that's, that's a win. Let's that's a win. Yeah, that's a win. Yeah. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy. Well, I'm kind of amazed at is the fact that the brother and the dad showed up. You see her, you know, your sister, your daughter with her fucking teeth knocked in. Can you imagine the restraint it would take to not kill yeah. this son of a bitch? And she this and she was like, the way <laughs> yeah. she was Yo. running from him in that video, the Yo. way she was running, that man has definitely put his hands on her before. Like, mm -hmm. and, and me growing up in a household that was not all peachy keen, mm -hmm. I, I can recognize and see the signs. Like, mm -hmm. that was not somebody who like has that. gotten hit one wow. time and just like, oh, it was just a one-off situation. That was somebody who's been a, repeatedly abused by this man. Yeah. So that's that's very unfortunate. Oh yeah. So but it's just, and it's and it sucks that she's so gun ho about him too, and just like oh forgive and forget. I'm sorry you knocked my two front teeth hey, off. Every, I ain't gonna, gonna forget. forget. It don't matter. I'm not ever gonna forget. See, but I'm not gonna forget. Forgive you. Forget see, you already, out. Fab, see, Fabulous already had his teeth knocked. Well, they weren't knocked out. Fabio Fabi already had some chipped teeth issues. I think he got those fixed though. Mm. So you can't get yeah. you can't get the teeth. But I I think some some further reparations need to be met. 
But and I mean, like we speak from a, a position of outside looking in. But if you're in that situation, mm-hmm. whether you're a girl or a guy, and you're being uh, uh, assaulted as a guy or assaulted as a woman, like that person might be your kryptonite. You know mm-hmm. that you always take them back. Like it don't matter what they do. Yeah, right. Um, so. It, it, it I mean, happen. I understand where she's coming mm-hmm. from. Mm-hmm. You know, I I'm not saying that mm-hmm. it's just like outlandish because like it, like the the girlfriend of Young NBA, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. she's just young and dumb. Yeah, like exactly. you know, yeah. sometimes when you so they there's a level old and of love too. Old yeah. and dumb. Old and I mean, dumb. Yeah. I have a little bit less sympathy, but yeah. definitely the young like there's a level of love that just is yeah. just stupid. Looking back, I, I I remember in high school I had a girlfriend who said she'll kill me, and mm-hmm. I didn't tell nobody till now. <laughs> Yo, but like it's like no one cares. <laughs> Talk about it. No, she cares. obviously she didn't do it. So, so like I'm under. I was scared. Uh-huh. I think we're thankful that she didn't do it. But um, <laughs> you say think, you think you think. <laughs> yeah, but yo, man, did she really tell you what? What did you do? How was that? It, what led she's up to like, that? Like, she's like, if I ever see you out with this uh, person, I'll kill you. What what history did you and that person have? Um, just thinking back on it, it wasn't very a fruitful relationship. It was very... Um, um, it, Boy, it was men always try to get all big word and, 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 and it, it was like very argumentative. <laughs> um, T- looking back, we weren't healthy, and like it was like I was living a, a false reality because that was when I had a I used to have a, like a box haircut, like Boosie, mm-hmm. and I called it the Boosie fade. Um, but because that's it, what it's called. Interesting, but anyways, um, so she might have liked that image, mm-hmm. you know, but I couldn't sustain that image because I was raised up in a gated community, and you know, she liked the type of either. hood type <laughs> of guys, and I was just really a nice gentleman, you know, uh, wanted to go and pursue higher education and possibly be a politician in the future. So. Um, those are the things I was kind of trying to tell her, like, we should do. But then she was like, well, you're going to have to defend my honor because this guy, like, every guy who tried to get at her, she wants me to fight him. And I end up getting in scuffles. And mm. to be honest, I never told my friends. Most of them I lost. <laughs> I lost those scuffles. You lost them. Oh, I was shit. trying to find that, yeah. um, that line yeah. from Boosie where he um, talked about the girl being on birth control. Oh. Like, I don't know. It was something, like, hella disrespectful. Like, mm-hmm. he said... Like some girl wanted money for like uh, like she's gonna be pregnant or she wasn't on the pill and he uh-huh. said bitch I told you to get on the pill or something like that like it, mm. I I can't remember See? the lyric or the song but I was like rap is, what I turned that shit off life immediately. Tweet was Savage did it, uh, did it. He had this like he said hit her with no condom then I make her eat a plan B. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just <laughs> stunning on my ex. Yeah. yeah, that was a fire ass light. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think, okay, so I don't find that line too offensive. Only be, if he changed it from make her eat a plan B to suggest she get a plan B. But okay, that's not that's savage. Not go savages don't make suggestions. Yeah, savages don't make suggestions. I know. I know. <laughs> so just think about, it. Think, think about it. Think about it. Hit her with the saying. condom. Then suggest her eat a plan B or uh, can you please eat a then plan we, B? Then, like, we, get, eat then a plan we get a plan B. Mm-hmm. That, that could have been just as hard. Nah. Either nah. way, making this somebody do <laughs> something is just a little it, fine line. It's a, and you crossing some, like, some iffy territory. Take, make her eat I, a plan. Yeah. <laughs> It makes yeah. it sound you ain't even gonna get her when a I hear that line. I literally think he got the pill and just like ramming it down her throat. Like, I'm gonna get her a glass of water, a bottle, just make her eat and eat that shit. Mm. But he said, so Have you ever ate a plan B yourself, EJ? Have I ever ate a plan B? Yeah, yes, okay. like MMs. Mm. Interesting. What the fuck? <laughs> and, and we didn't even talk about Drake and the oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron James interview. Get your man. You know, yeah. like that's like that was crazy. So this this week on HBO, um, you know, LeBron James has his own show now called The Shop. The right? Shop. The yep. Shop, which is awesome. I haven't watched the first episode, but I was anticipating this episode because he had Drake on there, and uh-huh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Drake friend. Jersey's my dude. Like he's my boy. Yeah. Anyways, um, so. Overall, 
in that episode, uh, Drake uh, told uh, the world how the beef and him and Pusha T formulated. Like, mm-hmm. they've always been beefing, but yeah. how Pusha got the information about his kid. Yeah. And it all was around Kanye. Yes. And I was like, wow. Now, how Kanye got the information was uh, uh, trying to pretend that he wanted to work with Drake mm-hmm. on a, a project, like Big Brother stuff. Yeah. And uh, Kanye didn't even do nothing for Drake. Drake wrote, like, most of the songs for Kanye yeah. at the whole time. And then Drake was vulnerable and mm-hmm. told Kanye, hey, look, uh, this is what I got on my project. These are the dates. And they even let him listen on March 14th, mm-hmm. which that song, he also indicates that he has a child. He even showed him pictures of his kid. Oh, wow. You know, just for, yeah. He, like, he sent, he sent Kanye pictures of his kid and shit, mm. you know, not thinking that Kanye would betray that shit. Mm. And then, as we know, the rest was history. Yeah. Kanye's trash. Now, now it makes it makes a lot of sense. It does. I totally get Kanye. Uh, but he went Drake. on that whole rant saying that Pusher never found out any information through him. And, like, I don't know where this is coming from. You know, I never do you wrong like that. I'm going to go to a show and we going to, you know, get passes. Did mm-hmm. he ever make it to a show? No. Nah. See, that's the thing. Beyonce yeah. was at Drake's show last night. Beyonce and oh, yeah? Jay-Z. Hey, mm-hmm. shout out. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Shout out to the And Carters. he brought out LeBron on stage. Oh, damn. For damn. what reason? I'm not sure. But, like, Drake has actually been making some progress. Mm-hmm. I think him having a kid has made him, like, look at life a little different because he made up with Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he got this beef with Kanye, but everybody got beef with Kanye right now. And then... Um, who did he bring out last night? I can't remember who he brought out last night. But either way, he's just been making progress and like letting bygones be bygones with a lot of people. Because yeah. even, oh, he brought out Meek too. Yeah, he brought yeah. out Meek. Chris yeah. Brown, yeah, he brought out Meek Mill. I, I know you we said that. Some um, who else he, was, he been working with? Like, he worked with a lot of yeah, other people. Amigos, all them. Yeah. But yeah, I think, damn man, Kanye, it makes me look at Kanye different because I could say, despite all of his craziness, the one thing I say Kanye has never shown or proven to be is a liar, but based off of that last interview, if, assuming everything Drake said was fact, damn, yay. I, I think you lost your, and your, your final redeeming quality in my eyes, what I thought. I don't think Drake is lying because he had. I don't think so either. He had no, he has nothing to gain by lying from it. And then also, um, just the way that he's been moving since then, like he ain't responded to Kanye. He ain't said nothing about Kanye. He mm-hmm. let that pusher beef go because he was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm going to take it how it is. Now, at least everybody know I got a kid, but they would have known anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you, you really believe that? We would have known. Yes, he was going to drop March 14th. He says that. I No, we Listen, all the, I really feel like Drake paid off the big blogs to not say anything about his kid or post anything about this kid. Mm-hmm. And I think these blogs, because at the end of the day, all they want to do is make money. So, like, if you tell them not to post something, they won't post something. Like, how uh, the Shade Room didn't post Cardi B for, like, some months until mm-hmm. that fight happened with Nikki. Yeah. Because I'm sure she reached out to them. Maybe, you know, there was some money involved to where she said, here, don't post about me. Leave me alone. And they was like, cool. But the fact that the small blogs, like, literally had pictures of this girl at her baby shower. Mm-hmm. Like back in her baby shower was was like in October of last year. Yeah. So like I saw all that in the the um, podcast I was listening to, they were talking about it and everything, but it was like nothing got it, it got no traction mm-hmm. for whatever reason. So like a lot of people knew it just wasn't everybody that mm-hmm. knew. And like literally, I remember I told my friend and she was just like, he ain't got no baby. I said no. Like she was like, well, all these strippers claiming they're pregnant by him. I'm like, no, it's not a stripper. It's this girl, this ugly girl. And oh, um, she was she, pretty to me. Hey, to each each his own. I thought she was. Beauty is in the eye I, of the I think she, I thought she was extra regular. I I wouldn't go as far as to say she was ugly. But I, I also feel like men look for um their women and uh their their mother and their women that they end up dating and sleeping with and stuff. And so not to say that his mom they is ugly, that. but I'm saying like because the <laughs> the girl is is like white, well like a form of white European or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's from a whole different country. Mm-hmm. But it's just funny that he sleeps with all these black women with all these curves and all this stuff of the person you get pregnant that you slept with she unprotected had a fat ass one too, time. Man. She did have a fat ass, but she was not like all these girls you rapping about. Mm-hmm. Like everybody you name dropping and shit, but you you wouldn't get a black woman pregnant, but you get this this woman pregnant. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, it was it's crazy. I would say we can uh, tribute Kanye West to the success of Cor- Scorpion. You know, because I feel like he gave fuel to Drake, and he, he mentioned that in um, the uh, 
the interview that yes, Scorpion was like sixty percent done when he let uh, Kanye listen to it, but that other forty percent, mm-hmm. those are the bangers, like nonstop. Yeah. In my feelings, yeah. mob ties, yeah. eight out of ten, yeah. emotionless, Sanders Row, and the list Sanders go on Rose. and on. All those are like Drake's most uh, like phenomenal songs on the album. Yeah, and it, they go so hard. Now, after I listened to the interview, I actually went back and listened to not, um, Scorpion mm-hmm. and had a m- much more understanding of the album, but much more love and and appreciation for Drake and his what he put into his craft Mm -hmm. like it makes sense like now in my feelings i know that joe budden earlier on when the uh, album dropped he alluded to uh kiki might must be kim Kim k K. yeah and and like he alluded he he, and we talked (laughs) about that and that started off with that one of the songs that um yes in my feelings was not uh maybe the thing is that rumor it started off in a comment on the video Mm -hmm. like somebody commented saying it was was a regular ass person yeah and then that's where kanye saw that or was it a regular person or did jake pay somebody Uh, to go in there and put comments under there because why would that rumor because why would that be a top comment and that was another thing because um kanye went on a rant when he also was like oh i never told a pusher anything he also said well if there's rumors about you sleeping with my wife then you should be man enough to come out and say something and yeah. he never did yeah no i think and it makes sense like drake and kim did something together all right and then if you listen to like some of the songs like especially eight out of ten they live he, around the corner from yes each other. they they he, he he mentions a lot of lyrics on the um, track that hey we live around the corner um things in regards to the kardashian so it's been very interesting. It would not be surprising, especially given the history of that family, and, and not to slut shame them or anything, because I don't, I don't really think that any of them are sluts. But you know, given the history of the family and the type of men they go for, and the type of um, wealth and power that you mm-hmm. have to have, it would only make sense that somebody in that family would have been with Drake at some point. Oh yeah, so, for sure, for sure. Obviously, yeah. it wouldn't have been Kylie because like she's young, yeah. and but the the fact that Kim. Chloe or Courtney have never like messed with Drake. That's just kind of like outlandish to think, and especially considering like how popular he is, mm-hmm. how he's the you know been the man on top. You know everybody's trying to get with him. Yeah. So it would only make sense that him and Kim messed around at some point. Yeah. Especially if the other two sisters never tried to get with him, because Chloe definitely has been dating black men for like a long mm-hmm. time too. Yeah. Cause she's been you know yeah. single the most out of um you know between her and Kim. She started glowing up recently, so I. I, I Chloe's actually very sexy to me. I think I find her very attractive, especially okay. after she dumped Lamar Odom for some reason. But anyways, um, that was just the turn on for you. Oh, she Chloe she, was probably one of my least favorites. She's my favorite personality. Personality? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a different conversation. Yeah. Probably personality. Yeah, I really don't watch favorites. the show, but I would. Um, I yeah, I just I feel yeah, I don't like watch the show either. But from the clips I see, the Chloe's the um, Chloe's the mean one. Okay. So yeah, yeah you just was kicking. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> anyways, man, and this is this kind of um, everything we're talking is off topic of what our topic is, mm-hmm. but um, I wanted to introduce before we uh, go to our topic. Um, Drake just dropped. Uh, well, he's future on a single with Bad Bunny. Oh, that song um, is called in my Yeah, oh, and he's okay. speaking. He's speaking. Um, in Spanish, he's the culture vulture. <laughs> yeah, like EJ like to he's say, a celebrated. So, Drake is um, a culture vulture. I heard this already, but this gives an opportunity for um, EJ and Desiree to hear I, it. I love, and I want to see what y'all opinions about this track. Okay, for one, we're not gonna understand it because it's all in mm. Spanish. So Drake is actually speaking Spanish. <laughs> yes. Okay. I didn't even know they had a video, but yeah. I'm trying not to yeah, look at the video. Out. I just want to listen. Yeah. Oh yeah, the video make me wanna okay. like the song more. This shit go hard. Okay, you, even... you know within the first the 10 funny seconds. Thing, you know. He's so versatile. Like his look is so versatile. He looks he looks regular. Like he, does. he looks he's a like, like Dominican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks <laughs> Dominican right now. But he can also do a reggae song and look like he reggae. That's good. That's yeah. good. 
So I, fucks with um, it. I didn't when I first heard it, I thought it was trash. Then EJ just said it was uh, uh, good, and I like it now. Yeah, you yeah. know, like and I, I, I like always... it because the video the video makes you really appreciate the song mm-hmm. for me better. Because I didn't see the video, I was just listening to my car. I was like, this is trash. See, I was trying this not to look at the trash. video because just just like you said, mm-hmm. the video can influence you your opinion. Yeah. So I was because it was over too here. many it pretty ladies, hard. too many pretty ladies in that video. Not tonight. Do you see how much influence you have over him? What you mean? Because he said he thought it was trash until you said you liked it. Mm. <laughs> now, you felt a way about that. I can can say you zoom in on my said, face? I can feel, you felt a way about that, Nana. Talk about it. <laughs> you literally just said that. You literally just said that. Anyways, man, financial you literacy is, is very imperative. Uh, I, and, think got, um, I think you got him, Des. That, did, so that, did that one get under your skin, Nana? No, it doesn't. But you said, I just was repeating. I just want to talk about that. financial literacy. Okay. All right. Talk about it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, man. This um, I wanted to talk about really uh, some things that been going um, something for the black community. Um, sometimes right. I believe black women are making black men go broke. You know, mm. um, in the you're on your own on that one, bro. Yeah, I <laughs> you're mean, on your own on that one, King. That you know, that's that's just a, a thought to myself, and um, well, and then also <laughs> given that you know, um, I. Given that, uh, you know, a lot of people are acquiring wealth, you know, in the nation, how does someone deal with being the first generation You're gonna of You're going to ask all these questions person? at once. I know. Let's, let's, let's talk yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Let's talk about where it. To, okay, where to start? Uh, let's go Let, over let's, the... Let's first play the video, uh, Jedi, if you could please play the video um, about Stacey Tisdale discuss smart ways to invest your future on to do and um unfortunately you know that's not the best reality uh that was given so it was a little bit about condition um and as far as me dating african-american women um i i feel like there's a big um like especially pushed on the internet and i know i shouldn't go by that Mm -hmm. but like african-american women on the internet be like niggas is always broke you know like Mm -hmm. um you can at least pay for this and that like i never want to fall in that statistic so if i'm dating you or taking you anywhere else i'm gonna take care of you and it's not their response well Sometimes, like, women will be like, oh, I want to, like, instead of looking at the cheapest thing on a menu, you want to, like, you want to get a filet mignon, you know? You want to get a whole lamb, right, pause, you just know? real quick. Just quick pause, okay? I'm trying to make sure where, where we at. I just so want to cry. Yeah, so your statement was that <laughs> black women are causing black men to go broke. I said can. Can. And yeah. when you're talking about these experiences, such as the filet mignon ordering, is are these done being done by the black women that you date? Yes. So you literally pay for it for letting me on for somebody? No, I'm just in. It could be even regards to. Do you go do the club? Do you go to the club? There's the right. I'm letting you do. do your I just want to ask you a question. This is a part of occasionally. my. Occasionally. Occasionally. Do you ever pay to go to the club? Yes. Okay, so if a guy invites you out to the club, why would it, a guy invite me out to the club? No guy has never invited you out to the club. Why would a guy invite me to the club? I invited girls to the club before. Yeah, I've, I've seen yes, people date to yes, the, so date the club. It's not a date. I'm just saying, like, it, one of your homeboys, like, or somebody, you know. Oh, you say, mean just like hang out? Okay, so, yeah, okay, okay. You, so there's a, a club. homeboy invited me out to the club. Yes, I've had a homeboy invite okay, me Okay, invite to you in a club. <laughs> and be like, hey, do you expect to pay? It depends on if I arrive with him or not. I think if the guy invites you out, he should pay. <clears throat> if she's against it, she won't let you, cool. But I think that should just, that's understood. If the okay. guy offers, I mean, if the guy proposes the plan... He should pay until otherwise. Yeah, and uh, Miss Tisdale spoke a little bit on it, like she you know, speak on no club. No, she didn't speak <laughs> on it, but she did speak on the. Um, she spoke on. Um, I, I forgot the the. I forgot what I was gonna say, but she spoke on the roles. Okay, the gender roles as mm-hmm. far as males provide and protect mm-hmm. women, nurture and nature. Do you think this is just a black thing? Hmm? This this conditioning, the social conditioning, is this just a, in the black community? It's environment. Or, it's environment. So that's no, no, why I'm, I'm saying. Do you, are you saying it's only exclusive? Is it only in the black community, or is this? So do you think everywhere? only black women are cause can cause black mm-hmm. men to go broke? There are no other women that can cause a black man to go broke. It's a lot of pressure. I feel like it's, it's honestly. A, are, you honestly, not answer my question. Yeah. Yes. yes okay. Only black is. women. Yes. All you right. have lost your damn oh. mind. Are you serious right now? Mm-hmm. So this mm-hmm. whole, the, the thing that kills me is 
it's always <laughs> it's always you don't team it's up. always some broke black men <laughs> over here talking see, about see, how man, black man, how let, you me, no, let me finish that's, let that's me finish talking let me finish talking you said broke. let me finish talking because at the end of the day mm -hmm. like it's always a broke black man or a oh, black man that dang. has had his heart broken by somebody after spending some money mm, that will sit up there and say that only black women make them how go broke label, what do you think them? white women are out here looking for do you think white women are just marrying anybody Thank personality you. hell no, no hell no they are <laughs> literally literally so happy over white there, people EJ. are white people are literally raised with financial literacy they understand the importance of life insurance they understand the importance of investing mm -hmm. i know someone who is a, a 28 year old white man who literally went to college came back lived with his parents and then they let him go back to school and get his real estate license and now he lives in like a million dollar house in dallas and and at this time when i met him he was like 26 mm -hmm. and when i was asking him how he knew about money and, and what to do and invest in, and how he even got in his spot on real estate because you don't just become a you don't go into real estate and automatically start making buku money yeah yeah because he had multiple properties yeah and when i asked him it was instilled in him in birth yeah, yeah. most white people Literally that i know raised up most yeah. white people i know just like you said des they have like just growing up Je jedi <laughs> what about so for you did you learn about money growing up man i'm probably not gonna be a good example no. not a good example no, yeah, okay no, 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 so we have the but, exception to but the my point okay. is if he was raised that way as a white male in america mm -hmm. do you think they're not raising their daughters to look for a man that has those qualities and knows about those aspects of life knows about buying a life insurance policy as soon as you were born so that way by, by the time you freaking 30 you have a million dollars in your account mm -hmm. that you can cash out and use as you good and well please like so for you to sit here and say that black women are causing black men to be broken no, I it's, said can. It's, okay, right. can. Whatever yeah. the case, no, any no, no, woman no, no, that you no, no, date, no, no, don't double back because you no, asked no, him. No, 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 I said you, can. You yeah, asked you him. Did, you you did asked say him. A, yes, but you asked yeah. him. I a said clear black women question. and nobody I, else. I want and to you be said the yes. devil advocate this show. She asked I want you, to. She asked you no. a clear cut question. No, that said, that don't sound like that sound like your ass got hurt by somebody white women. Probably the bitches that you was flying out. But the point is, it's not just black women have caught on to this trend of expecting money from men. Yes, yes, that is a new kind of like phase and kind. In, in the think, sense of since Instagram has gone out, come out, there's a lot of girls that are popping up that are Instagram models that only do shit if you're going to talk about money or want to be flying them out or something of that sort. Nonetheless, white people, white women have been doing this for years. So let me ask you this years, question. So years. would you go do out you, okay. with a guy and he takes you to McDonald's? You're not allowed to ask me no questions because I ain't done making my point. Okay. So as far as white women that you see up there when these niggas out here getting drafted to the fucking NBA, mm -hmm. drafted to the uh, NFL, and they have their white woman, is she over there because of his goddamn personality? Hell no. Or was she raised to seek a man that is trying to build wealth? environment he might be you also got to think this what does he see in his environment if he going to a sec school or something like that it's not a hbcu you are you know, literally it's doesn't, different it doesn't matter i went to what a private school i went to a private school for the first you could find a black woman somewhere up until my you're sophomore an year how many I'm people not. do you know dated people outside of their school thank you mm, i mean <laughs> But what's always in your environment? It doesn't matter. I do have seen if I'm going to Auburn University. Y'all sit up here. Oh, black men love to sit up, up here and say, oh, white women, they're just less problematic. They'll do whatever you want. Yeah, because Tool, yeah, that's what I was about to they say. are literally grooming your ass. Yes. Like that, I, it, you know, there's a channel called The Wealth Network. Have you ever heard of that? No. Have you ever heard of that? No. I watched it the other day. I didn't even know it, it fucking existed. Yeah. I watched it, and this white woman sat there with her white man, and they're going on tours of million dollar houses. Mm -hmm. And when they sat down, it was like three houses. When they sat down to decide mm -hmm. what house they wanted, he was like, well, you already know which one I want. I want the so-and-so house. And she was like, oh, yeah, I figured you liked that one. But, you know, the one that I liked, like, I could really see you in it. I could see you in the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. I could see you relaxing there. I, I can sense that you'll enjoy it. And he was like, you know what? You're right. Let's let's go ahead and buy that one. Mm -hmm. Like that's What's literally wrong? you. You're What's literally. She's painting a picture for him. Like you're she, you're she grooming him. somebody to yeah persuading. Yeah. So would she not? Would a white woman not persuade also a black man to stay with her and be with her? It's called compromise. That's not yeah. called compromise. If every and, single episode the woman gets to uh, convince a man to pick the house that she wants, mm -hmm. that is not called compromise. Huh. The thing is, white women only want you while you're winning. They only attracted. They're attracted to you when you're a that's winner, a, that's and they want you to statement. keep winning. That's a I don't know. So I don't know any broke black man that has a white woman mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is actually a white woman who wants to do some shit with her life. 
It's the difference between a regular white person and white trash. There are some white trash out here that are just happy to be with a black man. They just wanted somebody with a big dick. They just wanted some little mixed babies. Mm -hmm. They just want to uh, live this life that they just imagined. But there are also mm -hmm. white women that know we're going to be at these balls and galas in the mm -hmm. uh, in the summer. We're going to be vacationing in, in Greece in the, in the springtime. Like, they literally have that mindset. They grow up with that. That's what they were accustomed to because that's how their parents raised them. Mm -hmm. And that's the lifestyle that they provided. So, of course, they're going to continue to, to go for that. And the fact that you think that black women are making black men go broke, then you must already be broke Sorry. because black women haven't <laughs> even begun to tap into the resources that white women can tap into. Mm. Because a real white woman, if she wants to work or, you know, if she feels like she has to work or open up a charity, you need to be able to provide her with the connections to get her to open up that charity. To get yeah. her into the job like her dad would. Okay, so let me ask you this question. How 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 let, let, oh, let's let's else. let's go ahead and let's go ahead and ask this question. How do we how does black women contributing to um uh black men becoming more wealthy? Building wealth. Building why do wealth? we yeah. why do we have to contribute to you building wealth? I know do you know how it's many a team environment. Do you know how many Okay, but if you're not married, it ain't no fucking team. It ain't no team because you can get up and leave any at any fucking moment. So why would I sit I, up here? I help everybody. And that's, See, that's fine. The There's thing. a difference like, a between client. helping somebody, but mm -hmm. I'm not. Wealth is generational. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna help you build no fucking wealth right now. Mm. It's the one thing if you want to be rich and you got a plan and we can mm -hmm. help each other execute that plan, that's fine. But wealth mm -hmm. is long term. So you wrong in thinking that somebody can help you build wealth at mm -hmm. this moment, not being in a relationship or in a marriage. At the end of the day, what you were doing, you were blaming your lack of finances or your financial issues that you had that you mm. said they're going to be corrected in a year. You're trying to find a source to blame it on. And instead of blaming it on yourself, mm -hmm. you blame it on no, black women, I, no, which no, black women whoa, whoa, whoa. are the most educated women. We're the, they were the most educated women. No, no, do you know how many, I said, no, do you know I, how many I black women I know my, that are making six figures and cannot find a man that can even make anything close to what they're making? Dez did ask you a clear cut question. She I asked mean, you who is honestly, responsible. I just said it just to have a good show, but yeah, I got no, you. No, that's what you mm -hmm. said. Yeah. So we got to go off of your yeah. opinion. Mm -hmm. That's what the fuck you said. And yeah. You blamed your yeah, lack bro. of financial you success on black women. Yeah. You did. Did your mama know you feel this way? Your no. sisters know you feel no. this way? No. Okay. That's, that's mm. typically what happens because mm. all the men that preach about um, anything other than black women typically ain't had this conversation with their mama or their sisters or anybody else because you ain't bold mm. enough to say it to them. No, of course not. Your no. mama would slap you aside hey. your damn head. Okay. Whew, and if, and it, yeah, this and one is like, and if she wouldn't, I would. I lost that one. I mean, mm -hmm. you threw it out there. Like, yeah, where's your hey, points? I though? threw it, and and, and, and I'm you I have no valid points. It. Okay, but, you fly somebody out. Okay, mm -hmm. you you pay for a hotel room. Okay, you pay for dinner. You pay for some weave and some extensions. All that shit. Okay, let's say over the co course of a year, you spend ten to twenty grand on this chick. At the end of the day, that is nothing in comparison to what you would spend on a white woman. Because mm. she will set mm. your life up to where you can't fucking leave her. Mm. Like y'all over here mm. got joint accounts. Y'all got you, like y'all look at it like, oh, they're just less problem man. They're willing to do. Mm. Yeah, they are inching and inching, <laughs> inching into your life to where mm. you can't leave. You so mm. comfortable that you don't even want to leave. Mm. So just because a black woman mm. is over here asking you to pay for some shit, that's the least your ass could do. Cause you in the club being disrespectful as fuck, slapping people on the ass, I'm not paying not for drinks. That, hold on, oh, wait, 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 hold, 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 hold on. Is this a vendetta towards? That's what I was about to ask. That's, that's, what, that's what I was about to ask. Dan. Do we know for a fact that it does this? Or are you speaking from another place saying, right now? I'm saying in general, when you look at how a black man, <laughs> yeah, how is... how in in general, mm. how a black man treat black women, y'all don't set us up for success either. I I try to set. I don't know. Up I don't know any black man that has just set up here and like you know what can I do to help you? How can I get to you to yeah, where I, you want to go? I, 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 I oh, you were in school and you're oh, studying yeah. and you're struggling to pay for school. I, how I, about you? We're in a relationship. Yeah. How about you just not work? And, and I pay the bills. Y'all look at it like that's some sucker ass shit. I ain't finna do no shit like that. And to be honest, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna allow no shit yeah. like that just because yeah. of who I am and how I was yeah. raised to be independent. But at the same time, I know very few men that have set, you know, allowed their girlfriend, long term girlfriend, short term yeah. girlfriend, anybody, any type of situation like mm -hmm. that. I think you know, and and I, I see I see where your sentiments are coming from, and I, I'm glad that you know you can test my. Look at how Drake treated Serena versus how uh, Serena's husband treats her. Oh wow! Yeah, Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So now Whoa. are you are are you say Yo. are you trying to say white women and single white men 
treat black women better than black men? I'm saying that she left that black man who wasn't shit, who obviously wasn't shit because he held, uh, hid a whole mm. damn kid from the world mm. oh, wow. and has a mm. history of talking about fucking girls and fucking black women all day long. But you oh, end wow. up impregnating a woman that wasn't black mm. magically after I think he said they only had sex twice ever mm. and she magically got pregnant. Oh, OK, mm. but you, but you were willing to nut in her, mm. but you didn't get none of these other black women that you fucked. All these hundreds of black women that you've been fucking, ain't none of them get pregnant. So looking at it from the outside looking mm. in, it sounds like both of y'all are speaking from a place of hurt. I'm not hurt, uh-huh. but I'm just saying I like admit it, it. It, I it's a damn for- shame mm. that a black man can sit up here and try to like make what a black woman's expectation. I still feel like black women's expectations of men are still very low in comparison to how high a white woman is going to hold you. Mm-hmm. Black women's expectations are still very low. So the fact that you could sit here and say like, oh, y'all the cause of us going broke. What? Because you buying some fucking hair. Now I completely you know, disagree with that statement. Do you know 110%. how much like a, a strip, like two strips of fucking white people hair is like six hundred dollars, the mm. good quality, and that wow. should still be trash. Mm. That's why they buy. That's why white women are starting to buy from black hair companies mm. because our shit is still better quality than the shit that they paying like double for. They go and get a haircut and it's eighty dollars. Oh wow, for real? Mm-hmm. Yes. Man. And you over here talking about? Mm. Oh, what, what I spent so much money haircut? on. I spent no. so much money on. I'm talking about a woman, mm. a woman going and getting a trim. Is gonna be like around eighty dollars. She, her going to get a blowout. Mm. Her, her doing any, any like coloring. Coloring is ridiculous. You can spend up to six hundred dollars on getting your hair colored. No oh, man. So how Who's many, so how many of those blonde white women that you know are actually blonde? Mm. So that's what I want to get to, Nana. Mm. Is financial literacy? Is mm. this topic just to mask the fact that you have issues with black women? Nope, <clears throat> not at all. And um. And I'm glad that we had uh, Desiree in addition to the problematic safe place. Um, But I want to kind of clear the air here. You know, I was playing devil advocate. Uh, Do I think the cause of me going broke is because of black woman? No, absolutely not. You know, I know that's what I said. But I want I want to clear the air. Like, seriously, I want to clear the air. And I'm glad that she expressed herself. I think that both. Both sides of the spectrum, male and female, regardless what color, but specifically, let's talk about blacks. We need to meet each other where we at. You know, I don't know if I can pay for school. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't pay for your school while you're going to school. You know, what are you looking for at a certain age? Like, I might not be able to obtain that, but I got a great personality. You know, (laughs) can we? Can we? Does that count for anything? Okay, for example, one of my really good friends Mm -hmm. makes over six figures, Mm -hmm. and she she don't require a man that she date to make over six figures. But something as simple as getting a guy to send her flowers is is a hard task. Getting a guy to like, um, okay, mm -hmm. you know, I I want to let's go on a trip somewhere, or you know, whatever the case, like it's a hard task, and it's Mm -hmm. like that. It's just ridiculous. It's it's yeah. Okay. Like, like, so you saying that it's like us making y'all go broke, and it's like even the women that got money can't get a quality guy. There are actually more black women with money than it is a rising black women that have money versus the flowers men at Kroger that, are ten dollars. Uh, black men have so <laughs> okay. right now there's an increase of um the grow the fastest entrepreneur group is black women. Okay. So yeah, right now because okay. we ain't helping black men build and uh, black women are gradu- are getting more degrees more than black men oh, by yeah. statistics. We oh, ain't yeah. helping them get wealth. We get but, uh, our damn. Hey y'all, we got cut. Let's continue I'm, this first thing next episode. Uh, nah, no, I like men, but oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I like this. Whoa, this was like yeah, no. yeah. but yeah, you gotta keep that mm-hmm. same energy next mm-hmm. time, bro. I don't right, know if I'll be here next time. <laughs> All right. I'm just scared for my life. All right, y'all. It's HK Jamal. Y'all can follow me at E J I K E J A M A L. Oh, follow the show at We The Safe Place on Twitter, IG. You can follow, you can uh, listen to the Problematic Safe Place on your favorite podcast app and also YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, Dez, talk your shit. It's your girl, Dez. Um, mm-hmm. If you're looking for me on Instagram, my name is I T S D E S I C A K E S. That's It's Desi Cakes. Um, you can follow me also at that same handle on Twitter. And um, yeah, if you want to follow Chauvinistic Pigs and Nana, what you guys say? Anyway, um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Love the um, after this conversation, I don't know if anybody want to be following me. You probably don't. 
so. <laughs> he is not playing you with you. You can follow him to hell. That's what he's following. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your damn mind. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway, just follow me on Instagram at, at NANA underscore M A N N N. That's all I got. He might fly you out. Mm. Mm. Yeah. If you white. <laughs> and they say, oh. Dang. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another problematic one, man. Safe place. Y'all to be problematic, yeah. y'all. This is dope. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's the problematic safe place. We out. Yeah.